then you know why. <clears throat> you absolutely know why. Uh, Preach, you have to see this. Oh my god, we're getting baited hard with content. This is like React Andy Day. What is this? Please change or rename Lalafell to Lifter. What forum is this? Oh, is this the official forums? <clears throat> As the title says, with patch 6.3.5, uh, we received some new housing items. One of them being the Lalafell Lifter. <clears throat> we have been begging for Lalafell furniture for the longest time, especially after visiting Tomra and seeing all the Lalafell and size furniture. We haven't had an official Lalafell furniture since the step stool, so we're excited to finally have something that wasn't huge or way over our heads. Except this piece of furniture is not what we were hoping for. It's insulting. And a lot of my friends think the same. It looks like a toddler's high chair. It doesn't even look like a proper chair with a proper backing and arms. It's forced to stay a pure white color and the dyeable area is the part that makes it look like a furniture chair. <clears throat> We've been hoping for Lalafell beds, tables, anything, but this? The chair is great as a high chair in general, but not when most descriptions in a lot of languages note that it's specifically good for children and toddlers. Please reconsider changing the design default white wood to a more neutral look or rename it to anything else that doesn't allude to Lalafell specific item. I don't want to even imagine going to people's in-game houses or RP venues just to be told to go and sit in the child's corner. <laughs> but you're a child! You're the size of a child! What else would it look like? Of course it looks like that because you're the size of a child. <laughs> what, what else would it look like? It's not funny. <laughs> it's funny. But because they're child sized. That's what they are. They're child sized. There's a reason child chairs look like this. That's what works. <clears throat> Seriously, even a brief smattering of research on the North American side of the community would have shown how much Lalafell players already hate the infantilization we keep getting barraged with just because we wanted to play the short race. Then they go and add this. Rare but extraordinary. I mean, they're childlike. They are. Have you forgotten what you look like? You look like a child. Come in. There's a man at my door. Large because small. Bork, bork. <clears throat> what did they expect these chairs to look like? Like mechanical or something to lift them up? Actually on point. I see really, I mean, really fumbled the bag on this one. Is this like a Lalafell forum? This is so strange. I'm just not sure what they expected. The description and not the look. 
But uh, Square knows they're childlike. Right? I agree with this. This is a missed opportunity to give us real Lalafell furniture, but this looks ridiculous. I do agree with expanding Lalafell furniture. Absolutely. Like, you should have a Lalafell sized furniture. That's totally fine. But it will look childlike. It'll look like a child's bed. If they could recolor it, they'd probably be happier. Yeah, maybe. Agree 100%. I'm usually excited to have furniture catered to Lala's, but this looks a little silly. The default colors do it no favor. I think it's the color and the description that's the problem. It was always going to look like a child's cat. Like, it, but this does look... All right, I see the point. I do. I see the point. This looks like you got to get a dinner tray and you got to end up with applesauce all over your face. It does look that way. Yeah, the pink... I think you could dye that area. You can't dye the white part, right? It does. It does look like you're going to have a little plastic tray and a little plastic knife and fork and you're going to end up with applesauce all over your face. Yeah, uh, absolutely. <clears throat> it's missing the airplane. <laughs> well, I don't know what headcanon people have around Lala's, but I mean, in my mind, and this is how I look at VTubers as well, they're childlike. That's that's the point. That's why I don't like VTubers. It creeps me the fuck out, and Lala's creep me the fuck out to this day. They look like they look like Lala. They look like kids. They look like little kids. That's how I see it. I might be a boomer, but they look like little kids. Where's the Lala? This is a lot. Okay, you're all aiming tanks at me. That's not helpful. Adonis is one. There we go. You look like a Lala going to a Halloween party. Yeah. That's that's childlike. It's absolutely childlike. 100%. <laughs> look at Discord. Oh, God. What? Today I learned that if kids need to boost the seat, unless they reach 12, you're 100 You're 149. A, chi a child car seats can be selected according to a child's height or weight, but safety experts recommend that you use a child seat uh, for children under 150 centimeters. They also say for children over five stone, ten pounds, under 150. It's best to go by height, not weight. Oh, you're short. You need a car seat, Bex. You're shorter than this. I could make your day even worse, Bex. This weekend, when my wife's away, because I've got a bro weekend, I have to throw away our car seat because my youngest son is now too tall for car seats. He's seven, Bex. I'm not even lying. Yeah, you're 33. My seven-year-old is now taller than you, Bex. How do you feel about that? He's seven. <laughs> He's seven years old. <laughs> He's taller than you, Bex. Uh, I, I birth giants, baby. I birth giants. I have the giant seed. The kids are coming. It's going to be fucking huge. Huge monster children. I've sent them into the world. Oh, do you want an embarrassing story on my part? So I had to go to the doctors yesterday, right? That's why we had to finish the XCOM stream. Uh, anyway, the uh, the lovely, lovely lady doctor uh, was four foot ten, and she was very, very nice. But her comment to me was, "I'm very glad I didn't have to give you a prostate exam." She was tiny. She was so small. And that was the comment that she gave to me. And I was like, that made me laugh. That made me laugh. But she was so fucking small. Thanks for she all was the She was Lala smile. IRL. Yeah, she was Lala IRL. <laughs> I felt like a fucking monster when she was like talking to me. I mean, it's true. It'd be convenient. She was so small. It was weird. <laughs> it was so small. Agree. This is absurd. They seriously not just now frequently get mocked and insulted for being referred to as kids or groomers as such. Are we just some kind of mascot race for them to poke fun at marketing value? I hate this. It's so juvenile. You're a Lala with an eye patch. <laughs> the 
just an, it's like an irony wall. It's like an irony anvil on a fucking rope. Swinging. Swinging. It's <laughs> especially NA players. Uh, too much content and too many scenarios in the game mislead players. Especially NA players into believing it's a toddler race. Much to the point of a lot of NA players call it cursed when they see a Lalafell with a beard. I, I think there's been some mental gymnastics going on here. Maybe, I could be wrong. I, I'm okay with being wrong, but... Uh, they're childlike. Like, I don't know what to say to you. They're, they're childlike. Like, blatantly childlike. <sighs> Just a random non la la. Just oh my god, it's 18 pages long. This is just atrocious. I really hope they change it. <laughs> the non la la's. Why are you mad? <laughs> I love how the non la la's are like. I, I don't know what you're expecting, honestly. I really don't want you to expect. This is unbelievable levels of uncool. Is this what they thought we wanted, really? How about giving us furniture and things like stools and high chairs aren't required at all? This is awful. Yeah, there's alternatives. There is. There's absolutely alternatives. <sighs> I'm not a Lala, but I can point out the following. Lalas have become something of a mascot and a cute toy in which to conveniently display emotes. The infantilization of Lalas is a serious problem. Many RP platforms will deny you access if you play a Lala. Yeah. With good reason. They look like kids. That's why. You can be called either a child or a pedo groomer just for the fact of playing Lala's. It seems like a minor problem, but it's not if you encounter it every day. So giving yet another proof. <laughs> We're not talking about ERP here, but that's why the RPers don't like it. Like, that was one of the first things I learned coming to FF is like the, the Lala's. No. No, no, no. Uh, it's caused another wave of such things. I, I I see it that way. I I do. Oh, do we have this chair? Wait, do we have this chair? Can we see someone sign it? I'm not gonna laugh. Do we have one? Oh, I don't think we got one. Has anybody got one in the house? I just want to see someone sat in one. Have you got one, Adonis? Where's the chair from? I have no idea. Does anyone know where the chair comes from? I'm not going to laugh, I promise. I just want to see what it looks like. I don't think so. It's just 2,000 gil. Where from? NPC vendor. Can anyone get one and put it in their room? I want to see it. The kids are following you. <sighs> oh, Adonis. It's... They're different to gnomes, right? Like, gnomes clearly have an Asian... It's the smooth faces, I think. I can't get low enough. Yeah, can you look up at me? <laughs> they're very smooth. Like, if you look at a gnome in WoW, they're clearly older. Right? They, they have that look about them. They're clearly older and seasoned. All the Lala's look so small and fresh-faced. It's so creepy. I, I, <laughs> gnomes are clearly not kids. Exactly. Clo gnomes are clearly not children. <laughs> Braggart has one in his room. All right, Braggart's got one. All right, let's go to Braggart's room. Hold on. Let's go to Braggart's room. Oh, please don't come to my door now. No. I don't see anyone. Oh. <laughs> please get off and on again. I beg, please get on and off again. Wait, 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 wait. Oh, no, 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 wait, wait, wait. All right, one more time, one more time, one more time.
Oh, no, the dog gooey legs! <laughs> Swiggy little legs! I don't know, I imagine no one else can sit in it. Can Braggart sit in it? I assume it doesn't work. Right? There's no way. Your feet don't touch the floor. That's so strange. Your feet don't even touch the floor with it. That's so weird. Oh, there, yeah, look, you float. That's so weird. Your feet are floating. Yeah, they've not made it work properly for non lalas. They just sit and float. Everybody floats on it. Oh, that's so bizarre. Yeah, they've not modified it for other races. They just float. Everybody taking a turn to sit in the la la chair. This is a great opportunity, though, to create a really awkward looking Halloween set. But, like, the la la's. They can make something super sinister. Oh, the chair's floating. Oh, brag out. The chair's not on the floor. Have you, is it placed weird, brag out? Did you use some sort of schemas? Yeah, can you move it? Oh, it's still floating. I think. Oh, no, it's working now. Okay, so it works normally when you... S yeah, it works normally. Okay, so it does work. No, it, it's hard to tell. No, you still float. The legs are still floating. It is on the floor now. Yeah, the legs still float, though. Yeah, for sure. I, I've got to say, though, that doesn't look that childlike. It's not like it's got baby arms on it. I don't think that looks that childlike. Now I see it in game. I don't think it does. Yeah, that's like a normal highest chair. That's all. I don't think it's that. I don't, I I kind of disagree. I think the description stuff's wrong. You could you could dye it. Yeah, you could dye the pink area, braggart. Yeah, it's just a high stool. No child can. <laughs> Can't be dealing with the lalas hopping to get on it. <laughs> That's so fucking stupid. <laughs> with the dangly little feet. Oh sweet Jesus. Oh my god, that is insane. <sighs> oh my god. Uh, sorry, kids. One sec. Oh, he's dying it. He's dying it. I assume it's just the pink uh, puffy that does it. Oh, no. It's still the same. Hey, you can't say sorry, kids, Braggart. Lala's are not childlike. Stop being offensive. <laughs> Yeah, don't be mad, little potato people. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. 
I cannot fucking believe there is anybody who plays a Lala who does not see the childlike resemblance. You are on mental copium. You've been huffing it hard. Yeah, there's... There's no way. There's no way. That's the whole point of people who play Lala's is to make creepy, freaky horror kids. That's the whole idea. I, I just... You've got to have been taking some mad amounts of copium pills. Creek Chai made a clip of perfectly timed music to the high chair. I assume it doesn't work. Right? There's no way. <laughs> Beautiful. Beautiful. <sighs> I agree. If they weren't meant to be childlike, they would look more seasoned and stuff. It's not about being short. They're a childlike race. I mean, look at the legs. Those are baby legs. Those are baby legs. Chibi? I don't know what that is. <sighs> don't worry about people online calling you a groomer. Play what makes you happy. I don't think you call them groomers. I don't see it that way. But I'm also not going to think they're not childlike. I think they are. I mean, that's my personal opinion. I think they're totally designed to be childlike. Which what, but what makes them fun? Not in a sexual way. They're childlike with giant swords and fucking evil burning red eyes of death. That's scary. Right? That laugh is scary. That pulling the face thing is just ridiculous. The pulling the face emote. So freaky. Uh, are you going to do the London Fast Fan Fest? As long as we get tickets, right? It's a lottery. Anybody gets to go. I do not expect to get invited. I would like to be invited, but I'm not expecting it. Uh, by any means. I'm not expecting it. <clears throat> I feel I'll get in trouble. Yeah, I'll get in trouble. I'm going to get in trouble. If they just... I use literally one thing, man. So I accept the risk. It's fine. It's fine. All right. Let, get me out of this fucking childlike nightmare. Awful. <clears throat> Dwarfism is generally despised as an adult height of four feet ten. I am two centimeters over being medically a dwarf. Congratulations to Bex. I like that you had to look that up, Bex. To double check. <laughs> I needed to double check. You had to look it up. <laughs> Ah, oh, Jesus Christ. Ah, oh, fucking hell. I, I need to Google it to check what's going on. Ah. Fuck me. What a weird day. Weird day. I'll take it, though. I'll take it. You knew it was close? Them, them up a cupboard, though, Bex. Nightmare. Absolute nightmare. Those top cupboards. Whew. One day. One day. Chibi does not mean baby. It's a Japanese style drawing characters with exaggerated. I thought Chibi was them weird style emotes. Chibi. What is Chibi? Almost like caricatures. That's what I saw Chibis as were like caricatures. Essentially. Yeah, because they look like the pop cap things. Right? 
Yeah, they're like uh, caricatures in done in like a, a cutesy style. That's what it looks like to me. Yeah, giant heads. They look like the, the pop things. Don't forget to do the little ladies event, by the way. This might be inappropriate today, you know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, I don't think Lala's a chibi. I, I don't think so. Their proportions aren't done that way. Funko Pops. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The Funko Pop things. Why can I hear a fucking owl? I can hear some hooting. There's absolutely an owl at my house. What the fuck? There's an owl hooting outside my window. Hey, hooters? That's annoying. I, I can hear it just over the sound of my headphones. It's loud as balls. Stupid fucking thing. You're a wizard? I don't want any owls around. It's probably endangered or something. I'll have to call a guy who knows a lot about owls. He's going to tell me about the owls. Slice! Oh, welcome back to the saucer. We got a slice. Yeah! Let's slice it up. Sounds awesome. It's not, man. I've been to some uh, country fairs and whatnot with some very serious bird people. They make birds boring. I'm not into it. Slice gamba, a little closer to the time. We'll get there. To bring mail, Doctor Who. It seems to have stopped. Which is great. He seems to have stopped. The owl seems to have pissed off somewhere. So he said, Abbott says the door. You have to pay a guy to rehouse it. <sighs> I think this weekend. I don't know what I'm going to do myself this weekend. We might just uh, do some strumming. I've got a massive day. My family leaves Friday morning. And they're not coming back till Sunday. I've got a load of shit to do on Saturday. But other than that, I'm kind of free-ish. It's kind of free-ish. Yeah, I'm not promising anything, but I might just stay in and be a slob. My family usually corrupts all of my weekend, so I never really get a weekend. It's usually family time. So, there we go. <clears throat> weekend stream? Ah, maybe, maybe. I'm promising nothing. I'm promising nothing. I'm promising nothing. Power through a few levels of left quest handings, gifts for actual crafters. Yeah, I don't know. Crafting meds has left a bad taste in my mouth. Oh, well, we could finish XCOM over the weekend as well. Something like that. I don't know. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking, Nanaki. I can get my like, rage on or something. It depends how it goes on Saturday. I've got to get rid of all the, the moldy couches. And I've got to clear out all the moldy shit at the office. That's ruined beyond repair. I kind of want to take all the stuff that's uh, semi-salvageable to the storage unit as well. So I'm going to have to make a few trips. See what's going on there. That might be my game plan. It's kind of old man boomer shit, but it's also shit that needs doing. Hey, I wanted to stream. My kids needed to do math homework, which I have to help them with. And then we had to make cookie dough, which is so disgusting. It's so disgusting. We'll do a glam check in a minute. We've got some time. Um, I think it's in the fridge. Just the most awful shit in the world. It's just raw cookie dough. It's just butter, sugar, flour, and chocolate. It's awful. And the kids love it. And they had to do it for a school project to cook some make something. I don't get it. Raw cookie dough. Ugh. Disgusting. Absolutely gross. Not a fan. Oh. Ah, we lost internet. Okay. Better now before slice. Yeah, buddy. <clears throat> Give it the old restart. Yeah, I've, I've tasted it, but there's like chunk. I can't eat this. There's chunks of butter in it. And they were like, we want it that way. According to the recipe guide. 
It's best when it's like that. Thankfully, I uh, I let them taste it, but not eat it. Because fuck giving the kids raw cookie dough an hour before bed. <clears throat> not happening. Not happening. I can tell you that um, I did something awesome yesterday afternoon that you're going to find out about in a few hours. <laughs> it's so good. And I've got my uh, sit-down interview with uh, We Chorus today. Which is really cool. I think it's the first time they've actually done uh, a proper interview. I'm curious as to what they have to say. One of the things I want to tackle when I'm sat down with the guys. Because <clears throat> We Chorus gets so much shit. Even for people like me. Who know better. But they get so much crap. It's like We Chorus is ruining the game. We Chorus is bad. They're using too many We Chorus. Blah, 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 blah. We Chorus doesn't actually make anything. <laughs> They make a platform for other people to make shit. But they get all the shit for it. They get all the abuse. Everything is, it's a weak or a problem. But they don't actually create anything. So I'm kind of curious what they feel about that aspect of things. It's like, they actually, it's not really fair. Like, it's, it's so, you know, it's the people who make them. <laughs> they create, basically, I, weak or is, is a GUI. That's what it is. It's a GUI. It's a platform to uh, make shit. <clears throat> uh, to, for other people to make shit. Now, of course, it enables that and puts it in an easy and convenient way. I kind of wonder. I'm, I'm holding back until I get to talk to them. But I wonder if, they, if people have made things using their platform. That they're like, holy fuck. I didn't think our program could do that. <laughs> Because <laughs> especially, have you seen the Echo thing they've made? Or, I think Grimm's made it. Some of you won't know who Grimm is, but um, they've made an add-on package that now modifies the Dungeon <laughs> Journal to download Weekorers through it. Echo Ray Tools. You guys seen this fucking thing? Let me start the login going here. I can't hear anything. Phones. We got audio now? Whenever I restart my PC sometimes, my headphones don't get detected. There we go. Right, I've got sound. Yeah, check this thing out. Let's go with that. What do I do? Yeah, so it's Grim. Uh, this is Grim raids, in the bottom right. The of incarnates. Hmm. Look, now you get an... They've, they've somehow managed to tag it onto the Dungeon Journal. Slices in like five minutes. We're good. Uh, so it tags on... To, we're not going to watch 56 minutes. I'm just showing you what this thing does. Uh, so you get an extra tab now in the Dungeon Journal with the Echo logo on it. And Echo. you're going to have this new button there. It's going to look a bit different for other people due to a fact that uh, you have Echo Internal loaded that overrides this from Echo Raid Tools. Should I turn it off? But yeah, you can. Is it already on Curse Forge, by the way? Yes, but no. It's going to be during today at some point. Okay. You're uh, going to see a new version. You just open your course. You, we made it. Look, it has all the cooldowns on your nameplates, dynamic debuff lists, gripes groups, personal requests from players, and you can download them all directly through the game. This is fucking dope. It's dope as fuck. It's well good. A lot simpler Ooh. this time around. And it has it all in little drop down. See if you want individual you know, things. Did you just? They didn't want to do like per boss things. They didn't want to. Yeah, it's crazy what people are making now. Stuff like, they just nuts. want. I didn't even know they were working on this. I found GG about uh, about it when the video went up. Well, that's literally that button on the top right there. You just smack that button with Echo Voti. You can click it as well. Just don't click import script. Yeah. So like, you just click the button and you just get all the auras and stuff. Done. Fucked for the game. Uh, for WoW, it's not fucked. Like, for WoW and how it's used, it's not fucked. But uh, that's just super convenient because most people go hunting for these weak auras anyway. Like, it's one of the standard things when a new raid comes out for WoW is to go and find the weak aura pack that goes with it. Pretty standard. I mean, I wanted to make one. I wanted to make an in-game package that was a tutorial for raiding. It was one of the little projects we were working on for a while. 
And so it was for people to just... I always think WoW could use a... Maybe even FF, but <clears throat> no third party. Just an in-game thing that you can have on that nobody else knows about. So you can just go practice yourself. Where it just shows you what the mechanic is and how to deal with it. With a little voiceover to help you out with it. I thought that would be really sick for a lot of people. Because we generally install boss mods, so it says countdown to some mechanic, right? But you don't know what the mechanic does or how to deal with it. It just says it's going to happen in like 10 seconds. So I was like, why don't we do a, a week or a pack that you can click on it and it'll tell you what the mechanic is and show you how you deal with it. So like Razageth bombs, it's like, here's the timer. This is what the bomb does. Usually you want to move it out to one of the markers and then maybe some advanced stuff on it. I thought uh, that's we were going to make it, like make that nice and easy. But it was uh, a massive project and also meant that I'd have to make it every single tier for every single raid boss. I'd probably keep it mega updated all the time. <laughs> Go ahead take Alex's job. Alex doesn't make guides anymore. Where is Echo? When are they starting raiding again? They're not raiding, right? When are they back at Omega? I know they had to stop. Wednesday. So today, they're, they're playing tonight? Okay. So they're on like super... Yeah, yeah, they're on Super Showdown. That's fine. Hey, the new raid tier is probably going to be coming pretty soon. And wow. Whoa! Yeah, a few hours today. It makes sense. I saw, I mean, I've seen Echo are doing like 12 Mythic splits. Ew. <laughs> Ew. 12 Mythic splits a week. Gross. Absolutely gross. <clears throat> Did you watch the mock talk with Jesse? No, I didn't actually, no. I didn't know it was happening. I don't know. Splits, yeah. Rough. I, I said to Gingy last night, right, you're playing Feral. He's like, well, I need like five mages. I need six hunters. <laughs> no thanks. No thanks. <laughs> gorgeous perfection absolute perfection not childlike are you raiding oh, you look a bit like puss in boots <laughs> so gross I assume we have taught Jordan the powers of slice yes I assume Jordan is now the queen of slice she will have her title soon. <laughs> yeah, she got partner last night. GG's to you guys. Massive influence from this community to making that happen for her. You guys are amazing. Absolutely awesome. Yep, she's got it. She's done it. She's crossed that line. Spectacular love shown from our community over to Jordan. Love it. You claim 50%. You'll have to ask her on that. <laughs> I thought she was already partner though. I don't know. I didn't follow Jordan's uh, Jordan's streams at a similar time to us, so I never really got to see. Well, she's into it, right? She's into it. I hope she doesn't burn out on the story. I felt that after a while. It's like, I need a little break. I need a little pause. I need to digest. So I hope she doesn't just power through it constantly and burn out on it. Oops. Can you lose Switch Partner? Uh, probably. I mean, they can give it and they can take it away. Certainly if you get banned or something, you can lose Switch Partner. But I don't know if they can say your viewership is now too low uh, to qualify for Switch Partner. I'm not even sure what Switch Partner gets you these days. I'm really not sure. A t-shirt and a tick. It's only 50-50 and it starts mid-year if you earn over $100,000. Uh, and then they're cutting you down. So that is a big problem for us. That is a bummer. That is a bummer. But on that note, did you know you can get yourself some wonderful displays using our codes to decorate your walls? You can rotate them so you always look various and snappy. You can do all those things. And you can pick them up, and uh, our uh, custom ones will be coming back at some point. There you go. That's unrelated to the fact that uh, Twitch has got to cut my business's revenue because they decided to. 
That's totally unrelated. Totally unrelated. But you can get a displace using our code for a discount and uh, help us out. <laughs> At some point... Well, who's missing the Endwalker one? <clears throat> How many of you haven't got the Endwalker or Amarok one? Those are the big ones. I always feel really bad when we get the... Um, the messages of people who are like, I, I just, I need it and I can't get it. I have got a lot to give away though. That uh, we showed in our uh, office tour video. I've got several uh, Amarots and Edwalker displays to give away. We'll do it when we're redecorating the office. Well, last time uh, we could get Emmett because even we can't get Emmett on demand. Even <laughs> We have to wait till they're available uh, when we do our pushes on them. Um, I got displays to send me like three Emmet ones. So they, if they ever get damaged or anything, I've got a replacement. I was like, we need multiple Emmets. Multiple Endwalker ones. I'll tell the fish, thank you for the five gifted subs, man. Thank you very much. Oh, the greed. Kua. Kua. Shaking my damn knees, man. I, I was just thinking, I don't think I've played Slice in a month. It'd be nice to come back to a victory, but we'll see. As soon as we know when they're going to be available, we'll let you guys know. It'll be, though. I can tell you it'll be when we're getting the office back. Because this player had been in contact. Obviously, our office was destroyed. Uh, and they're like, hey, man, if we can help out, we'll do a sale or something when uh, you can get back in the office uh, to do what we can to help out. So it'll be around that time. So office updates will be the... Uh, will be the telltale sign that's going to happen. This player are awesome. They're so nice to us. Really, yeah. I mean, obviously, we've done a lot of business with this play, but yeah, that's, that's super cool. The fat cat is dead. Nice. The fat cat is long dead, I'm afraid. Oh, I did not see what that was over there. Okay. A lot of survivors here. We're all about to get bludgeoned. There's too many people alive. This is doomed. We're all super ripped, dudes. What? No way. I have never seen so many fucking winners. Never seen so many winners. That's crazy. That was such an... E the power of Hildy? A little won't work. Hey, Metallic, thank you for the five gifted subs, man. That's so generous of you. Thank you, dude. And I saw a two years there. Fina, two years. Wow. Two years today. 59 from Woden as well. 59 months. They're getting good. They're learning. Well, you've been practicing with Jordan, I assume. All right. Uh, do we want to do Deep Dungeon first? Do we want to do Hildy first? I don't know. Let's go home. Let's go home, let's get rid of these fucking cookie dough things, and let's get started with our class. Have the baby chair. Nobody fucking Fucking dick. Fucking dick. Fucking dick. Fucking
gone really cold, man. It's gone way too cold. Not a fan. Way too cold. Uh... I don't like it. Whatever's happening, I don't like it. I don't like it. I'm not a fan. Uh, where is Hildy? I gotta see him. I've gotta see my boy. I'm, re I'm ready. I'm mentally prepped after FF8. He's in Radzahan. Alright, buddy. I'm mentally ready. I've done my FF tra FF8 training. I'm golden. Consider checking Squall is dead for some fun F8, F8 theories. I don't know if I can. The spectacle of inspection. Jesus Christ, it's like she knows. What up? Check the video. I've just sent it here. What, on Discord? Is it bad? Alright, show me. A lot of people are going to see this. Are you sure it's not embarrassing? Is it him tooting a horn? Is he blowing a horn? All right. All right, let's just send it. I'll get it when he arrives. Apparently, my son has won a music competition tooting his little horn. <laughs> Emma's sending me the video. Apparently, he dominated the music industry. He's the next Dr. Dre. Come on. He's a little tutor. <laughs> I don't like that. Not a fan of that. A little tutor. He's a Lala? No, he's a child. It's different. There you go. I got a message from him saying, there you go. I don't see it yet, though. Update Discord. All right, download. This better be good. I mean, how good could it be? Impress me, son. I'm not sure what the appropriate reaction is. <laughs> I'm not sure I'd pay to see it. Yeah, the video quality is poor. That's what it is. <laughs> I mean, he won. He got a massive round of applause. So there you go. <laughs> Are you really <laughs> so... <laughs> yeah, it's, I mean, he played it for sure. He played it for sure. 100%. Yeah. Okay. It's also a recording of a live stream on an iPad. There we go. <clears throat> Positive reinforcement. I fucking hate that instrument. You know how big it is? It's in my living room all the fucking time. I've tripped over it. Regularly. <sighs> is this the conspiracy theorist? It is. Oh, God. I'm Amanda, 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 Bill, man. Doing what only Amanda it was hard to hear from the because it's obviously recording an iPad, Thanaman. but it looked like it did really Man well. The applause Amanda was fantastic. Man. Awesome. Yeah, it was just it was really difficult for us to hear, that's all. Yes. 
Oh no, it's a little box that's been delivered. It's definitely not jackets. Right. Well, we couldn't hear it, right? Never lie to your wife. <laughs> Floor. It was a suspiciously auspicious timing. I was just thinking of you. And suddenly you appear. As I'm sure you recall, Master Poo Poo claimed his purpose in coming to our world was to search for a missing comrade. She is, of course, merely a cover for his true objective, laying the groundwork for a full-scale invasion. But I understand the skeptical masses will demand proof of this sinister operation. Thus did I decide to bide my time, keep my eyes open, and let things play out. And no sooner had I resolved to do so when I received word concerning the inspector. It seems they've made progress in tracking down our alien friends. Friend, this could be my chance. I say my chance, but I can hardly stand against this cosmic conspiracy alone. You're coming along, yes? Nodders? Nodders? The truth will out! Yes? Nodders? Then let us be on our way. They were headed to Palaka's stand, and we don't want to miss even the smallest development. Metallic, thank you for the five gifted subs, man. It's so generous. And a good night to you, my friend. A good night to you. A good night to you. What is ridiculous? It's Tenorhorn? Trombone? I'm not sure. It's one of those. James plays piano and the other horn instrument. He plays two instruments. He's got his piano recital coming up. Oh, they're just here. Floor, you came! The Luna crew is back together! My loyal associates! Come to admire the spectacle of inspection, have you? As well you should. Look, Master Poo Poo, Floor has come to help! Thank you, Floor. You are too kind. I'm not sure what effect that is. What? No more poo-pooing? It was no great chore to master your tongue. The grammar and syntax is relatively simplistic. Such a terrifying intellect. What hope do we have to prevail against it? <clears throat> so, how did you narrow down the search to this particular area exactly? Why, my tried and true inspector's sense, my dear fellow. All the perceptible and imperceptible signs pointed me in this direction. Although they did neglect to include a precise location. For that, we must rely on another tried and true inspecting technique. Interrogation. Spread out, everyone, and question the locals on any poo-poo-shaped sightings. They just wanted everybody to say poo-poo so many times. They just wanted everybody to say poo-poo, that's all. Oh no, he's still here! <laughs> he's still stalking! No way! we still got little Bobby! He's still here! Little Bobby Kotick, still running around. A sack counter. Uh, I mentioned it. I did see something like that in the Western Shroud. Might have mistaken it for a small child, if not for the way it moved. Sort of a furtive scamper. Creepy like Lala's. Hmm. A furtive scamper. Yeah, we got a sack counter and a fervent scamp a furtive scamper. I'm so blind to these things. It's the crate inspector! <laughs> Perfect. That's what we needed. Uh, yeah. Spies the another little creature in the jungle. On our way back from city markets. Or he went alone. He was in the company of an unusual gentleman. Sickly pale he was. A radiating an unpleasant smell. I felt obliged to keep my distance. Okay. Keep checking on those crates though.
I love this music. You know something ridiculous is about to happen when this music plays. Floor, have you investigations born fruit? My own carefully crafted queries place an individual of Master Poo Poo's proportions in the south of the shroud. Uh huh. To the west, your sources say. That's the round, and there have been a few sightings in the jungle, somewhere to the north. Hmm. If we have sightings to the north, south, and west, then that must mean. Master Poo Poo has more friends here than he realized. How about that, Gregarious? I have precisely one friend on this world. Could it be Doppelganders? No, no, too simple, too obvious. It's more likely the same alien wandering the jungle, being spotted in different locations by different eyewitnesses. Which just means we need to... I can't believe I'm suggesting this. Split up and search the whole area. A fair proposition. Very well, then. Oh. Oh! Are we launching a search party? Father! Have you been following me? Nothing of the sort. I was engaging in feats of physicality while my mind grappled with the mysteries of mandevillian weapon forging, hoping to turn perspiration into inspiration, as it were. But I'm afraid the burning fields woodman when are poor muses when compared to the stimulus a worthy opponent provides. Hmm. Mayhaps, if I join you, and the indomitable flaw in your endeavour, then happenstance will deliver the challenge I require. You are continuing the case of the silent correspondent, yes? Have you need of an extra pair of eyes? As many as you can spare. I was about to assign teams to the search, as a matter of fact. This village sits in the Shroud's east, so let us divvy up the remaining direction, shall we? Nasha and I will head south. Floor and Master Poo Poo to the west, if you please. Delorian, you and my father have the south. Um, that's Delion. Also, also, the shroud of the Sangha is awfully big. How are we to keep in contact, much less coordinate our efforts? I had special link pearls made for such an occasion. We could chatter in each other's ears as much as we like. Can we see any Lala? Is he in? Hey, mad. Charlians will listen and everything we're saying. Really? All the way out here? I shouldn't think their hearing is that good. But seeing as you mislike Link Pearls so much, Lord Godbert can hold the one for your team. Link Pearls. What tremendous foresight. Now, let us proceed with our investigations. He was on the stairs? I didn't see him. The inspector wishes us to search in the west of the jungle, yes? I'll follow your lead. I'm blind? Did you guys actually see him? I didn't see him anywhere. What? Discord flicks. Uh, uh. Oh, yeah. No problem, Chris. I'll do it in like an hour. Cause you need I know you need it for today. A river flowing right at our feet. Many stars have I visited the cosmos, but precious few have such a bounty of water as this one. Your home is a rare treasure. I'm not blind, man. Well, he won't be here now, because he's with Nashu. Are you for real? Fuck off. I always expect the Mandible Man now. Oh, God. There's a brag out here. Howdy, partner. Going through the tumbleweeds to see all these things out here in the wilderness. Sometimes I'm just a man walking alone. Looking for the lady I lost. And sometimes a gorilla rolls up on a man, and that's just something you gotta deal with. 
Why does Gorilla attack me? I don't know. But I'm just gonna look at it, think about it, and get AoE right where I stand. Goddamn Gorilla, don't know what the hell's going on. I wonder if I get a good view of Braggart from this uh, vantage point. I see no trace of my comrade. What are these black furred beings? Are they friends of yours? Fellow people of Aetherius? Vaguely people shaped, so perhaps, jammed. but not people. Not particularly friendly either. Like a Sasquatch. I'll go with this one. Let's educate the alien. There is a greater variety of species here than I anticipated. I shall have to collect more samples. Let's keep moving. No, you see, you were doing it wrong, Braga. Murder the... Murder! Murder the gorilla. That's how we do it. We butcher. Yeah, if we got to play Black Mage, all must die. The rock formations on this island remind me of my home star. They have the same vibrant hues, the same stark beauty. If only. Never mind that. We have to find a friend. Oh, Sag Alien. Just wants to go home. Why is with the fucking aggro range around here? Get away from me. Stupid paws. Too slow, Braggart. Loser. Just fly, lol. <laughs> I'm used to uh, Guild Wars. No flying allowed. No sign of my friend here either. But these white furred individuals. They are surely one of your civilized races, yes? Uh, they're monkeys. Hmm. I find it difficult to tell the difference. One semi-intelligent life form is much the same as another. Never mind. Let's move on. Bye! Oh god, everybody's here. I think this is where we'll find him, guys. Nothing. I'll see you in a little bird circle in the grass. The friend I'm looking for, we grew up together. We were always together. We even shared the same dream. To roam the great expanse of the cosmos. We worked hard. And supported one another until we both had starships of our very own. Then the universe was ours to explore. How fleeting that feeling of triumph. Ah, uh, but this is another tale entirely. I simply wish to express how dear this friend is to me. Oh. Oh, sneeze champ. <sighs> Hello, is this thing on? It's Dashu. We think we may have found Poo Poo's friend. Come to peruse her as quickly as you can. Yes, let's take my starship. It's the fastest way. Can I fit in that thing? We saw Poo Poo fly by in FF8. We did see that. Meanwhile, at Perusa. <laughs> it begins. Yeah, a Godbert mount would be pretty sick. Hail, dear comrade of Master Poo Poo. We come in peace. Pray, reveal yourself. Thank you. 
Wait! You're the Mandragoras! Uh, I know that gentlemanly overlord's voice. Is this the zombie? <laughs> the zombie joined the crawlers? That's the zombie brand. They said you were trapped in slumber, but I rejoice to see that is no longer the case. God, it's one of the walking dead! Greetings, friends. I am proud member of the gentle dead men and disciple of Master Zombie Brand. Why have you aligned with the flower people? This is an odd combo. What brings you here, Sathavnir? And in the company of Lenoskia's infamous vegetable menace, no less. Allow me some few precious moments of your lifespan to explain. It was a time when the maggots in my skull grew restless and wriggly. Tales of spoiled sea kin terrorizing the region of Bosnia reached our undead fraternity. And so on their behalf, I traveled afar to recruit a rotten Mandragora. After making his acquaintance, the festering fellow wished to introduce me to his brethren, who he assured me were no less rotten. Thus did I make next for Lenoskia, as I might extend a fetid hand in friendship. When I arrived, however, I learned that one of their companions had been abducted by a strange flying vessel. And what was a gentle dead man to do for aid in the search? I turned to the Thavnerian truth, that reliable bastion of supernatural rumor mongering, and lo and behold, an alien craft matching the Seedkin's description had been spotted here on this isle. Needless to say, we embarked on our journey forthwith. I kind of love that the undead are big fans of Conspiracy Theory magazine. Because they're like, well, yeah, some of this is true. <laughs> He's so happy. <laughs> One of our faithful readers. I'm pleased to see this even in undeath. The hunger for truth. Is not wholly subsumed by the hunger for brains. I saw the Lala. I saw him. Yeah, there he is. I see him. So, we find ourselves on the case of the misappropriated Mandragora. This abductor will not evade my powers of discernment. Sue will need a case to carry all these cases. An abductor. I have a feeling we won't need to look far. I've been abducted? Oh no! Or is it a clone? Oh no, that's me being arriving. Oh god, I thought I'd been abducted. Okay, it's fine. It's fine. I panicked. I panicked. It's poo poo. It's all good. It's all good. Ah. <sighs> uh. That, uh, that may have been me. <laughs> you yoinked the pumpkin boy? Lala's. Forgive me for taking your friend. In my sample collecting frenzy, I must have mistaken him for an edible plant of some kind. Yeah, he was so miserable. Understandable. You would not be the first to confuse a mandragora with a salad ingredient. The main thing is that he is returned to us unharmed and uneaten. All's well that ends well. Now, if you'll excuse us, we should be getting back to Thanalan. 
Rotting flesh and humidity is an unpleasant combination. At least he's got friends. I tell you what, for a guy who died and came back as a zombie, he's got good social life. He's really making the most of his time. My apologies, Master Poo Poo. We seem to have missed the mark this time. But I swear to you, I shall not rest until you are returned with your comrade. I almost believed your keen inspector's sense to be a form of prognostication. But it really was just following your gut. And I'm afraid vague inspectorial feelings will take us only so far. We have an entire world to search, and for that we need, oh, I don't know, an army of inspectors. An army of inspectors? Of course. I can simply clone a multitude of Hildebrands as I did before. Now, now, let's not do anything rash. Have we lost the real one? Was that the real one that was cast asunder? Oh dear. The ship's battery duplication facility has been temperamental for a while. And now it's broken down completely. This clone is the last it will ever produce. Okay, only two. Two Hildes, that's fine. Captain Marvel? <laughs> Yo! I wonder if that structure is now permanently destroyed. That's a cool effect. That is awesome. Hildy 64, baby. Name? My name is Brandyhild. Failed Hildy clone. Brandyhild. Uh, Inspector Brandyhild? Why is he so blocky? The cloning process must have failed part way through. Allow me to euthanize this abnormality. Oh, God. Now, now, let's not do anything rash. Unlike my former replicas, this one is highly unlikely to be mistaken for me. 
And seeing as we are looking for extra helpers, I say we press this undefined fellow into service. Welcome to the team, Inspector Brandyhild. A pleasure to make your acquaintance. <laughs> Godbert! <laughs> is Godbert going to repair the whole thing? He totally is. Assistance, please allow me to be of assistance. Oh, never a dull moment around the Mandeville men. True. Blocky, blocky, brilliant, Brandy Brandyhild. Blocky though this inspector may be, that Master Poo Poo could so easily attempt to replicate a living, thinking being. Alien technology is so advanced, I could scarce differentiate it from magic. I knew the duplicator had been unstable, but I pushed it to the farm anyway. Now look what I've wrought. Not only is this clone a poor imitation of the inspector in form, but a force of personality as well. We made quite a mess of that temple ruin, but thanks to Father, it looks as good as new. Or would that be as good as old? In any event, I look forward to tackling the remainder of the case with my charming new contemporary. I am delighted to be part of it. Oh, look how shy he is. He really is very charming. Generational bonding. An unperturbed Hildebrand seeks to resume the search for Poo Poo's comrade with the power of Brofists. An unexpected but invaluable addition to our ranks. With our numbers thus bolstered, I say we are ready once more to dive into the fray. Perhaps, but what of our strategy? We need a new approach. Um, if I may. Assuming Master Poo Poo's acquaintance pilots a craft of similar design, then might we not instead attempt to locate... Oh, is the failed one an actual good inspector? <laughs> no way. Oh, good shit. The actual corrupted version works fine. Okay. Such a striking vessel will have drawn more attention than the comparatively tiny being in question. He has a point. The truth receives a large number of reports from readers claiming to have observed unidentified flying objects. We could review said reports, those that meet the criteria of shiny, silver, and saucer-like, naturally. And then remove instances which we know to have been Master Poo Poo. That should narrow things down considerably. <laughs> Indeed, what a fantastic idea. <laughs> Just the kind of brilliance one might expect of one's clone. I was about to make the very same suggestion. Well done, Inspector. <laughs> I hope I... Oh, uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh. I hope I have not overstepped my bounds. I am but a shadow of the original, after all. I have a stack of back issues stored in the workroom I used in the city. Poo Poo can help me sift through them. Cross off the sightings that were definitely him, shall we? We're all going. Okay. We're on our way. We're going to read some conspiracy magazines. I like this twist. I'm actually going to be sad when Brandy Hill probably dies at the end of this. I wonder if he'll turn into like a big pixelated goo. He's probably going to die. We need to accept the fact that he's probably not going to stick around. Maybe he's going to become a permanent fixture, but who knows. Inspector Hildebrand. Inspector Branderhild with unexpected introspection. Oh, I think I just twisted my tongue. Don't mind me. <laughs> Just keeping a watchful eye on Miss Nashu. You never know what kind of unsavory knaves are out there. I'll 
I'll keep my eye out. <sighs> Dorian has taken Master Poo Poo to pursue his store of past publications. Let us enjoy a brief interlude until they return with the results of their investigation. Break time? Oh. I thought he was going to show how Hildebrand relaxes. We finished going through all the back issues. If we discount the areas we know Poo Poo to have visited, it turns out that there was only one other sighting of a flying saucer. Yarlamald. The account itself was sent to me by an Imperial soldier named Numerius, who appears to be a loyal fan of the truth. All the way from the Empire, your publication has an impressively wide readership. Our audience has always been universal. After all, the desire to know the unknown transcends all borders and creeds. The saucer was spotted during the Imperial War of Secession. Beyond that, there were no meaningful details. Then we must visit this soldier fellow in Garlemald. And wring from him the entire tale. I agree, this is our only lead. We have no choice but to follow up on it. To camp Broken Glass, then. Are oh, we gonna have some sad, sad music? Ah, sad, sad music, baby. We have some good friends over in Garlemald, though. I wouldn't be sad to see them. What's it called? Home over the horizon? At least it's not that. Cool. It never gets any warm here, does it? Everyone present and accounted for. Ah, we appear to be missing Master Delion. What? You can see the stalker? Where? Where? My apologies. As I had a hunch that I thought might save us some time. There's probably some contingent officers, you see, and Numerius is on the roster of Allied Imperial troops. In one of the trees. Scout. You see him now? Where? Right at the back. I mean that? You guys are winding me up, aren't you? You're trolling. Yes, Numerius is currently with his unit, organizing the supply dump at Foreign Patterns. <laughs> we should head over there. No we can spare a few moments to talk. Ah, oh, the chill here seeps right into your bones. How are you all not shivering at the unseasonal attire? <laughs> a mandible man on a mission feels nothing, neither heat nor cold. Oh, I see the hat. Yeah, there he is. All right, I see it, I see it. You just make out his hat. Not sure how one's frame of mind can overcome the reality of frostbites, but then again, reality always seems relative around the Mandevilles. Really blind? It's super dark. I think you just see it because you knew it was there. I am a king at Where's Waldo. I am an absolute fucking legend at it. I have found Wally in every single issue of Where's Wally I've, I've ever had come across my path. I am a godsend at Where's Wally. Shut the front door. I am. We're not playing Where's Wally on stream. You guys are just all say you can see it. You're absolute liars. An absolute fucking cabal of bullshitters. Found it. Found it. Found it. That's all you'd be saying. Found it. <laughs> you 
turn it into a stalker fracker. <laughs> you gotta start getting yourself in trouble. I'm gonna have to call you psychotic. Hello? Is there a Numerius there? I'm checking. You you see him, you liar. No, you don't. <laughs> you full of shit. I am the lion. The editor-in-chief of the Favnerian Truth. I've come to follow up on your eyewitness account. On the left? I see that, but I don't think that's him. The hat doesn't look wide enough, whatever that is. It's yellowish. The editor-in-chief himself was an honor. I wish there was more to the story, but everything I know was in my submission. I have naught left to tell. Unless you've something else to share. Didn't you say you saw the saucer as well? Oh, I did more than just see it. This was around the time when the fighting with nervous faction had escalated into all-out war, you understand? I'd been assigned to an anti-aircraft cannon and was actively surveying for enemies when this silver vessel flew into view. Some new kind of war machina, I presumed. So I opened fire and knocked it out of the sky. I mean, he was doing his job. Presumed? I mean, you never got a look at the wreckage. We were at war. I wasn't about to venture onto the battlefield to indulge my curiosity. It's probably still out there. Somewhere. It's gonna be an emotional, Hildy. We have to find that flying, or should I say, fallen silvery saucer. Do you have any idea where it crashed? N not an exact location, no. Got him! Got him! Ah! Easy, easy. What's up? Who's your daddy? That's me. Yeah, it is. Get on the bus. School bus. You belong there because you didn't see it. We best have God's own look. Galamal's capital region encompasses marms and marms of icy wilderness. If I may, do you happen to remember the approximate speed and bearing of the saucer and the position and firing angle of the cannon? <laughs> He's got to math it out. <laughs> it's time for some physics. More or less, I think. An artillerist without a head for numbers wouldn't be long for the profession. That should be sufficient. Thank you. Okay, this is a meme for all time now, isn't it? Chris, I need to be duped into this. Chris! I have it. The starship impacted the Earth 1,360 yards to the northeast of our current location. Give or take a few yarns. And seven else did you arrive at that conclusion? Elementary algebra, my dear Delion. Assuming the craft belonging to Master Poo Poo's comrade is of similar construction, determining its trajectory is trivial. Ha 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 ha! My brilliant clone, ladies and gentlemen. I was about to offer the self-same conclusion, but once again, he has beaten me to the punch. 
Hooray for Inspector Brandyhild! Ha, 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 ha. I seem to have stolen my progenitor's thunder. My apologies. 1,360 or so yarms to the northeast of here. That's improves the chances of our search with near hopeless to rather hopeful. Let's go find this fallen saucer, shall we? I predict. All right, prediction time, yeah? I predict that the clone is going to get hit with a Hildebrand-style attack. Oh, he's here. And that will be the fatal flaw in his design, is he's not a true mandible man. He can't survive those kinds of things. I feel like that's what's going to happen here, is he's just not going to be able to supply, survive those kinds of moments. It's like, because he's not a true Mandeville man. That's the problem. I'm not putting a gamber on it. It's Hildebrand, right? That's like gambering on the color of the socks that you're going to be wearing in 25 years. It could go anywhere. Black. Blue. <laughs> One million on blue. Remember this day. Remember this day. Y'all wear black socks? Don't tell me you've got an, a poor quality sock collection. Wait, am I wearing black socks? I am not wearing black socks. All black? You don't know any other socks than black? All black. I'm white. What do you mean? I'm white socks. White socks, baby. Yeah. Puma. Puma white socks. Dirty? They're not dirty. They're clean. What the fuck? They're not dirty. What the hell? They're clean on this morning, baby. Dirty ass. Well, they've been worn a billion times. That's for sure. They're my gym socks. I'm not fucking going to be sitting here and be judged on my socks, you motherfuckers. I've seen your fucking desks. You guys live like fucking Stig of the Dump. Coming over here giving me shit about my fucking socks that have been washed a few times. Bullshit. Y'all suck it. I'm going to the gym later. <laughs> Such an invigorating climate. I'm not asking for sock pictures because that's essentially feet pics. I'm not going down that road. Oh, he's watching her. <laughs> oh, I like the use of double double twigs. Practically invisible. <sighs> Her soup. Blazing hot. Huh? I can't imagine ever sleeping stood up. Ah, oh, tut tut. Silence, please. I must still my mind and quest a field with my senses. Wherever could it be? Ah, I think it's over there. <laughs> I didn't know whether you were trying to be a stalker there, Ressiel. <laughs> because you're not a horse yeah like well the horses don't sleep standing up all the time they do lie down had someone thought to record the wind speed and direction i might have calculated the crash site to the nearest ilm instead some people are just lazy what do you want me to say although promising at first glance it is not what we're after Jesus Christ, dog attack. A scorched and twisted scrap of metal plating. A starship like Poo Poo's could well have been reduced to a similar state where it hit by artillery. Uh, 
Yeah, he won't be here because Nashu's not here. <laughs> what have you found there, Floor? An exterior panel. <clears throat> this is from my friend's starship. I'm sure of it. Debris from the crash landing. I see no other pieces in the immediate vicinity, which means the vessel may well have weathered the barrage and made good its escape. Another possibility is that your comrade recovered most of the wreckage, or some as yet unknown party did. You're saying someone may have made off with our cosmic visitor? Sorcerer and all? I say, this is an altogether different kind of alien abduction. Has anyone seen Nashu? Now that you mentioned it, where is my loyal assistant? Oh, the fucking... Oh, he's watched to be abducted. The stalker's coming useful. Oh, I hate this. The stalker's coming useful. Disgusting. Help. You gotta help. My beloved Miss Nashu has been kidnapped. Some cad claiming to be an agent of Dr. Lugi came and took her away. He told me to tell you, and I quote, If you want your precious companion returned alive, then Floor must present herself at the Tower of Babel, specifically the Magitech servicing facility. Don't forget that part. <sighs> The gall, the temerity, the audacity! My stalwart aid spirited away under my very nose! My apologies, but who are you? A close acquaintance of Nashu, I presume? Uh, me? <laughs> I wish, uh, I mean, um, I was just, uh, walking by. I'd lost my air tag, you see, and I, I thought Nashu had picked it up. That's what it was. Yeah. I'm, uh... It was this, uh... Snowfield is what it was. <laughs> I'm, a, I'm a snowflake inspector, you see. No two like and all that, and... Uh, anyway, uh, enough about me. Need to go and save Miss Nashu. <laughs> uh, At last, a chance to stretch my legs. <laughs> what say you, my son? Shall we get this rescue mission underway? Indeed we shall. Oh, father, son running. An experience I'll never know. They left without us, even though this doctor fellow asked for you by name. Curious. Different plan? I've collected what evidence remained of the crash, but solving this mystery will have to wait. The case of the abducted ass assistant calls. Oh, it's, it's a duty! Okay. Cool. Meanwhile, at the Tower of Babel. <laughs> I'll shall fall before Supra Lugi. With this new and improved body, revenge will finally be mine. Dude, that is an awesome mech. You will release Nashu this instant. And what are you two doing here? I specifically asked for the adventurer. Be gone before I unleash my fury prematurely. <laughs> this promises to be a proper battle. I see no reason to trouble Floor. We tackle this menace as father and son, the Mandeville men together. Agreed, father. Oh, 
Oh, that's love. Ah, and I'll waste my appetite for vengeance on these side dishes. Hired thugs, time to earn your pay. What's with the high five hand at the back? <laughs> What's that for? Oh, a little warm up before the main event. Get them! Do I play as Godbert? Oh no. Rage of the Gentleman combo. Mandeville drop kick. The leap towards your target, delivering a gentlemanly attack with a potency of 900 to all enemies in your path. Can only be executed while the effects of gloves off. The Mandeville, uh, Manda double lariat delivers a gentlemanly attack with 1600 potency to all nearby enemies. Can only be executed in the reign of gloves off. The Mandeville sprint. Movement speed is increased in a gentlemanly fashion. Oh, how fast is it? <laughs> Alright, I'm going for the drop kick. Oh, fuck me. That's awesome. Right, lariat time. Line up the drop kick. It literally just kills everybody. That's awesome. Your lackeys were found lacking. Come out and face your fate. Insolent worms. The sun will be the first to die. Mommy or Daddy, if you could be so kind. This is genius. This is fucking genius. Uh, when, when are they going to unlock this job? They should unlock Godbert job. He survived my missiles? Then enjoy these war back in a... Is one lariat going to destroy all these? Almost. He killed all the ads. Alright, one drop kick right through. Hold on, hold on. WTF did I tune in too? You get to play as Godbert. This is amazing. Are we killing these? Oh, they've set it up for one drop kick. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Does it go the whole way? Too far? Oh, unfortunate. Can't do them all in one go. It would have been nice if you could have drop kicked the entire length of the room. That would have been sick. We've broken your toys. An amusing diversion. Oh, what the hell? <laughs> I 
And I was just getting started. You stop them all by sidestepping? Very well. It seems I must crush you myself. Oh, I finally decided to take it seriously, have you? Prepare to pay for your crimes, Doctor. Panto. Oh god. I have to get number assignments. What matter if he not you? Hildy just fuck off. Well played. Well played. <laughs> Hildy runs away from me to you. That's genius. The harder this these mandamills, it's unnatural. I do not trust wherever he's going. You aggravating vermin, my plans are in ruins! You force my hand, I'll bring this place down on your heads! The doctor leaves himself wide open, father. Let us seize the advantage. I've got limit break. Now's our chance. Oh, that's horrifying. Wonderful men! Victorious again! <laughs> Generational bonding overdrive. You know, before this point, I actually thought it hadn't really gone as wacky as Hildebrand usually gets. Well played. Well played. Ah, uh, things to be have seems to be well in hand. <laughs> Don't get ahead of yourself. There you are, my loathsome nemesis. I saved something special just for you. Oh, no, Lugie attack.
Is he going to MacGyver something? Is that what's happening? I thought he was going to like Lego something together. I thought he was going to die there. I thought that would be the end of Brandy Hild. That's from... Uh... I've seen that before. That's from 10. Yeah, it's the blitz ball. It's the jet shot. That's right. <sighs> that was a lovely nap. Oh, did someone build a Magitek servicing facility while I was asleep? Nicely done, Inspector Brandyhild. Once more, the clone has put the original to shame. Inspector, please, I am but a pale imitation of your ideal. Ha! I knew keeping company with the famous floor would lead me to a worthy challenge. Worthy of breaking a sweat, at least. Oh, no, we celebrate, Godbert. We celebrate, we celebrate. We embrace. Work this. It was but a playful skirmish compared to your usual do or die dilemmas. The villain is vanquished. Nasha is returned to us safe and sound. I say we head back to Radzat Han to regroup and rethink our position. Yeah, we still haven't found the friend. Your comrade yet lives, Master Poo Poo, I am certain. Take heart and let us continue the search. Hello? It is. Uh, yes. Yes, I did. It did been sent by the account, I believe. Uh, I'm not actually sure. It's my wife who deals with the paperwork stuff. Um... I'd have to double check again. I'm not sure when. She, they're not here now. I think she's picking them up today. Uh, what time are you... Yeah, if you could, that would be great. Can I actually give you a different number to call? Because she's the one who's arranged it all. Um, hold on, I can't... One
Sorry about that. I didn't want to give my wife's phone number away on stream. Can't see a problem with that. To guard them all the back, we have journeys. Yet this is just the beginning of the case of the silent correspondent. Why have we come back? Surely the information we seek is still there, right? Come, my friends. The shard of sorcery secured shall lead us onwards to new discoveries. Wait for me, Inspector. I don't know which way is onwards. I should follow him, shouldn't I? Wait, wait, wait for me. They're teasing Blitzball at this point. 7.0? Right? They're really kind of... They're teasing a little bit, you know? That copium, you reckon? I'm just saying they're like now animating the jack shot in. A final word from yours truly, if I may. The complexities of Godbrand's techniques had me flummoxed, I confess. As I do believe this recent spot of exertion has provided just the inspiration I required. When you are ready to proceed with our endeavour, pray drop a word in Master Geralt's ear. I shall make myself available forthwith. Until our next meeting. And he kicked the bomb in the Gentleman of Light. Ah. The stadium in the Golden Sauce makes sense. Of course it does. Thank you for assisting with my investigations, Floor. Once again, our travels were rife with inexplicable phenomena, and yet I'm no closer to exposing Poo Poo's well-concealed conspiracy. He will slip up one day, though, and you and I will be there to catch him. Are we getting a teaser of the next section? You're going to leave us here, aren't you? You're going to leave us here. Meanwhile, somewhere in Thavnir. I'm yawning. I'm hungry. Calories low. Beep boop. They're just ignoring it. Oh. Sneaky. No one going to ask? No? You took my coin and you failed. It was audacity that you should return, seeking my Lagos once more. I deserve your scorn, but I promise you, your plans are in danger so long as the tenacious pest yet lives. I know a path to victory, a forbidden path. One which demands the manifestation of the divine. Why is everybody at my door? One sec. Come in. Want my office back? Can't sit in the chair for more than 20 minutes without some shit going on. You have my attention.
We have an Emma, we have kids, we have a business running from here. That makes it very busy all the time. You didn't notice it when we were at the office because it was Chris grabbing stuff or downstairs grabbing stuff. We're going full 8 bit. Sometimes you get what you don't expect. A blocky man of quality, Inspector Brandy Hill. Flat face for sure, but still sharp as a tack. See you, Inspector. No. No real tease then. Huh. No real tease. Okay. That was very enjoyable. I think it was utterly, utterly rescued by the goblet bit. Uh, yeah, we should grab our relic. Uh, where is he? He's in the corner, isn't he? Crucible. Please note that upon completion of the quest well oiled, you receive a mandible weapon for a scholar. Yeah, it's fine. <clears throat> Hello. How are you finding that mandible weaponry of yours? Seen as mine was the hand at Forge, the answer you're looking for is bloody marvellous. Still, it can always be better. It sounds like Godbert's ready to build on bare bones of what we produced so far. I shall call upon his lordship. Oh, that's not Godbert. <laughs> that's a fake Godbert, okay. Floor, so good of you to come. I had my nose buried in that mystifying manual for what feels like an age or more. My decoding efforts have at last borne delicious fruits. It would seem that to further enhance the ethereal conductivity of our weaponry, we must apply yet another variety of meteorite. Much as one produces sparks by smashing one rock against another, a rare crondite in this case. The true key to the process, however, is something rather more intangible. Well, don't leave us hanging, you overdramatic peacock. Tell us already. My ancestor's tomb is, well, it is as much a journal as an instructional guide. And Godbrand details a history of failure to elevate his creations. As he was an accomplished warrior as well, he thus removed himself to the furthest reaches of the wilds, where he sought to vent his frustrations upon the most fearsome fiends that crossed his path. Post-battle clarity filled his spirit, and miracles of miracles, his very next attempt at augmentation was a resounding success. So you see, the missing ingredient in Godbrand's recipe for refinement was the sublime tranquility achieved in the wake of an invigorating battle. I myself received the blessings of battle-based enlightenment on my travels with Floor, following a mildly strenuous encounter with one Dr. Lugi. However, I contend, Master Geralt, that your martial meditation is yet woefully inadequate. Loser, you need a big battle. Eh? You think me smashing skulls instead of ingots will somehow improve me for forging instincts? I guarantee it! In fact, until you triumph over this trial, I suspect the next rung of mandible mastery will forever remain beyond your reach. Not that I expect you to charge blindly into fisticuffs. Nay, sir. I have prepared for you the perfect opponent. Floor, if you be so kind as to join Master Geralt at Windwift, I shall be with you momentarily. Geralt needs a good fight. That's what he needs. Is it Renoa? <laughs> have a fight. The hammering continues. Yeah, hammer me, daddy.
He wants me to fight some poor sap out of Windweft. Waste of bloody time, if you ask me. All right. Ah, yikes. Don't clip it. Don't be like that, man. Don't do it. What's he got to fight? A Madragora? Well, as long as TTS stays behind bits, I know I'm safe. Bless me. Bless me for fear of the rat jam. Well, here I am. So where's my perfect opponent? Eager to begin, I see. Capital. Follow me and we can get this clarified combat underway. What in the fuck is this? A flimsy little mammoth. No, I ain't a warrior, but feast your eyes at these corded arms here. If this were a tavern brawl, the smart coin would be on Smitty. As it should be. Which is why I've set this fellow's battle parameters to the maximum level. Right then. Let's do it, I suppose. Got a fucking axe. Geralt doesn't have anything. He's punched out after three. Tricky little bastard. I know what this calls for. A generous application of mandible mandated lubrication. Do we fight better slippery? Oof. Chiseled. What did you just slather me with? Only the finest Salamanderville, my good man. Feel it sink into your muscles and augment your natural prowess. It is the oil of champions. You know, I do feel oddly powerful. You have evoked the wrath of the rat. You will never be safe. Rat jam. Fuck the rat. The rat is on the menu. The rat is for dinner. Ah! Take that, tin man! What a rush. Now I've wanted to forge something so badly. Is this the battle enlightenment you was on about? The very same. In your heightened state of awareness, our enhancements are sure to be flawless. You have caused a rat gem wave. You are looking at a rat army. Now let's get to work. As before, your job is to bargain for Time me. Time to get Ty's rat party started, rat jam. Fuck off. Fuck off. Before, your job is to bargain for me to your rat chunks. From Jabrunner. Rowena knows the supplier with Krondite we need. <laughs> I'll head back and warm up furnace. <laughs> he 
Venus is weakest. Watching my mammoth do battle is always a treat. Yes. I actually had this axe wielding gentleman set to his lowest parameters. And while the salamander will does stimulate circulation, it has no other special effects. The most daunting opponent you see is the prison of the mind. You thought bits could save you. Nothing can save you from the rat. <sighs> Even should the battle itself be a charade, the positive momentum one gains from prevailing is what we perceive to be a mighty struggle is so less real. Now, if you kindly see to procuring the Krondites, I must attend to my part of the preparations. <laughs> Just do an hour of TTS and get it out of the way? No. No, you say it like you're built up. Like you've not been able to relieve yourselves in like a, a week or a month or something. I just need to get it out. Hello, boss. Yeah, good. Uh, I just had DL DHL on the phone for the stuff we've got to send to Poland. Uh, so they got to... Uh, DHL have been on the phone about the stuff we've got to send to Poland. They're going to call tomorrow to arrange a time when you've got the proper documentation. Uh, from the accountant. Oh, somebody's booked something in them. Yeah, but they need the actual documentation, not the electronic version. Yeah, but we know where it is. It just needs to pick it up, right? It's got to get over there. Yeah, but they will have the documentation, though, right? All right. Well, uh, when's the actual paperwork arrive? Oh, so that's what that's the next step. I need to find that out. Then. Okay. So that, that's what I've uh, got so far. So that's the, just the phone call I just got. So a range of time to pick up. So probably speak to the account and see where the documentations are. Hey, right, Oh, what a faff. Uh, okay. Uh, obtain chunks of complimentary crondite. Where are we doing that? I missed that completely. Where are we doing that? Uh, the ven oh, the, the vendor where we got the red ones from. Okay. Hi Mike, this is Rat. How are you? Care for some rat jam? Fuck off. <laughs> I know where the vendor is, Yatai. Hello and welcome to the Rat Boss Guide. Well, it says complimentary. Why did I have to pay for them? That's not what complimentary means. What? This used to be a bing chilling stream. <laughs> bing chilling. <laughs> Pretty sure it's a joke and now it's not the usual grind. <laughs> bing chilling. All right, well, I got them anyway, so it's fine. Furnace is roaring and ready. Let's have them new space rocks, then. There you go, buddy. Oh, they're grey. They don't stand out like the red ones. Bummer. Right. Send for his lordship and we can break out the hammer and tongs. What item level is this? Success! 
Our collaborative masterpiece taken to new heights. The amazing Mandeville Codex. 6.30, okay. What did I tell you? There's the undeniable results of your martial awakening. Do we have a hype train just from you guys fucking abusing the rat? <laughs> the lengths you guys will go to to try and annoy me is just extreme. Extreme. You know that, right? It's extreme. <laughs> I'm <laughs> selfish again. It's the second time today, you lovely man. Thank you so, so much. Thank you. What did I tell you? This is the undeniable results of your martial awakening. I still have my doubts on that front, but I. It is a thing of beauty, not less. On the topic of masterpieces, Floor, should you decide to refine any other mandible armaments to your possession, then pray call upon my artisanal protege here. He too has found enlightenment in the crucible of battle and stands ready with a clear mind and steady hand. All aboard the rat train choo choo rat jam. <laughs> ah well, I'll be around as usual to make sure it's all meeting me demands. It's me the rat, this train is ours. Hand over all your gill and tomes tones, you fucking pause rat jam. Are you pleased with your weaponry's new appearance, by the way? Or you may have more enamored with its previous incarnation. If I ignore it, it'll go away. <laughs> right? That's what'll happen. Don't you underestimate me. I am an all-powerful being rat jam. <laughs> I do understand the attraction of simple elegance. You thought elegance. you would escape the rat, but you underestimated how much we worshipped the rat jam. Which is why we've begun offering a line of mandible weapon replicas. I'm opening a storefront here in a trial basis, so please do bless us with your patron if you feel so inclined. Is this a mug purchase? So you don't have to farm as hard? You can just get the mug? Rat at a tat. <laughs> Ignore it and it will go away, huh? How many times did that work with Emma? Rat jam. Thank you for subscribing to Rat Facts. Rat Fact number 346. The Gambian pouched rat is native to Africa and is the world's largest rat, reaching up to 9 pounds. The average size is 3 pounds, measuring 20 to 35 inches from the head to the tip of the tail. The body is greater brown in color, with a lighter belly. I thought Rowena was a glutton for commerce. Are you regretting making fun of Rat Jam yet? I have a lot of regrets. It's a lot of regrets. <sighs> you thought you could escape the rat. Good luck, we are everywhere. We are Rat Legion. You shall never get through this dialogue, Rat Jam. <laughs> I will. I will. Our work is as aesthetically pleasing as it is practical. It would be foolish to leave such an obvious business venture untapped. Merchant talk aside, how much longer until we properly perfect your ancestor's creation? I get the feeling we've scarce scratched surface. An excellent question. And a difficult one to this answer. This quest is amazing. I hope the rat will let you rat rat it rat jam. <laughs> Fuck off. It's just... This is the conclusion. There's like four boxes of dialogue left. That's it. Look on the bright side. People are paying you for the privilege of rat jam trolling you. 
It's a win-win. Is it? Is it? I'm breaking the cipher. I've come to realize that- Oh, my fucking cheeks How hurt. much longer till you give in to the rat, Mike? It's inevitable. Rat jam. I come to realize the manual is the first part of an incomplete set. Conclude this rat jam. Incomplete. You can't be serious. Where's the bloody rest at then? All aboard the rat train. Presently unknown. Finding the continuation of Godbrand's guide shall consume my waking hours. Bah. And occupying a table at the Mayane will consume mine. You're lucky they got impressed. and a rat jam to you all. We're so close! We're so close! We're right there! We're right there! <sighs> rat jam, 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 rat jam. Why would you pay for that? Why would you pay for that? Why would you do that? Hey, why would you do that? Rat jam, rat jam, rat jam. Ah, then occupy the table. Uh, you're looking to got an impressive selection of spirits. What? Rat is like rat for the rat is a rat that rat jams all the rats happy rat jamica. Once again, I do apologize for Rat jam choo choo. Once again, I do apologize for the interminable delays. Mike, but thank you for your subscription to Let's Learn Welsh. Number one. Translates as, like a fart in a jam jar, means, useless, how you say it, velrek main pot jam. Fairly well. Did you know Emma trained the rat? Rat jam, rat jam, rat jam. Fairly well, my friends. I shall depart on my quest without further ado. Do not ask why the rat pays to rat jam you. Just accept it. We're done. We're done. Good attempt, Mike. Try again in the next hour. This dialogue box is ours. I win. I am victorious. You are the losers. I am the champion. You fail. How many rats could a rat jam rat if a rat jam could rat rat jam? Oh. Oof. I am the winner. Like that shiny new book. Wanna test it? Rat jam. Got it. Excellent. I am the victorious one. You are the suck. You all suck. I the win. Rat ran roughly over the raggy rock for really, really risky reasons. Give me my materia back. Good job. Ah. Four score and seven jams ago, our rats brought forth, upon this TTS, a new rat jam, conceived in rats, and dedicated to the proposition that all rat jams are created jamming. Now we are engaged in a great rat jams war, testing whether that rat jam, or any rat jam so conceived, and so dedicated, can long rat jam. <laughs> Jellyless, one out of three fish, failed the rat rat jam. <sighs> All right. Onwards. Onwards we go. I need one uglier coin before we go into the deep dungeon and that is everything done. I'm going to do that now. I'm going to be victorious. We're fine. One Euphrosine coin is what I need, I think. There we go. And then we're done. I do. Uh, do you want to put down exactly what you need, Chris? Like, almost like a text blurb to replace Don't what's in there. Don't forget tankless, jellyless, and countless others. Of course, Rat Jam will be forever. <sighs> oh, it won't. Is that the other weapons look? 
jokes on you Mike there are always more dialogue boxes, you cannot escape the rat gem stalling, it has been long prophesied that the rat shall gem till the end of days. Oh I like that one! Shang Hao Jin Guo Zian Zai Wo Yum Rat Jam. Okay, Warrior is better. Warrior is definitely better. Dark Knight is also awesome. Uh, yeah, tell it to pee. It is blurry. Eh. It's no Lionheart. Monks always get screwed. I just don't like fist weapons. They suck. I don't like that. I think that's pretty dull. They're cool. Oh, oh. Oh, we'll be back. We'll be back. Oh, you got yours, Resil. Awesome. What do you mean? Screw bugs get glowy dragon heads? I just don't think they look any good, that's all. You have your alchemist leveled. Oh. No, I don't. I don't. <clears throat> I don't. I have not leveled my crafter yet. I did my gatherer. I've not done the... I've not done my crafter. I've not done that. You know what we must do? I'll do it off stream. I'm not crafting on stream. Why do I walk in here and instantly see rat jam? Do crafting on stream is so boring, dude. You know it is. It's so dull. Hey, my plate worked, even though I changed my weapon. Awesome. Prove to me life's resolve. Crafting is very cool. I just don't want to do a whole stream of it. That's all. Right, I did the botanist off stream. None of you cared. No true abundance. Our tank's getting smooshed. Why is the tank getting smooshed? We I care. The, the rat jam does appear to be everywhere. Yes. That I've noticed. Oh shit. Don't die, dude. Don't die, my friend. I'll tell you what I still don't know about this fight. What is the... Um, what is the clue that which giving land is in and which is out? Is it the colour? Forest or flowers. Yeah, I think I might move my target frame. It's kind of in front of bosses. I've, re I've come to realize that recently. Is it's always in front of the bosses. All right, so this is green. So green is in. All right, green is in. And red is out. Okay. Okay, cool. That's it. Yeah, I still want to fidget with my UI. A lot. I'm not happy. Perfectly Mine happy with it. Okay, last bit with you. Ellie here, Wrecker Crafter, and Jordan Mon. I know you have your team for everyone, but if you need help regarding crafting, let me know. I, I have all the mentors in the world. Tried to educate me on crafting. 
Well, thank you very much. Thank you. Good work on the modding, by the way. Never get any complaints uh, on the Echo modding. Unless it's people spamming absolute R space stuff. It's one of the things we notice is casters a lot. We don't say it often enough. My heart rejoices for our union. Well, we don't really see the chat. Like, I, I try to actively avoid chat when I'm casting. Unless we're in, like, a super downtime split fiesta. Oh, shit. I forgot the colors. Green is out. Red is in. I can't remember. Wrong way. Intentional. Not intentional, but it was the way I was aiming and it was incorrect. Gonna die, though. And I'll have you know, my team is the healthiest of them all. So, shut the front door. DPS is skyrocket these days. Nice one, Chris. Alright, I'll do it in about five minutes. No problem. You enjoy the alliance raids more than pandemonium? Yeah, hundred percent. I've done these alliance raids, not just because I've actually been after gear, but Let the land be remade. Like, generally because they've been fun to do. I like these bosses. Bosnia was super fun. Super fun. I know if I was, like, day in, day out playing FF, I'd be spending a lot of time in, F in Bosnia. I'm sad Eureka didn't work out quite the same way for me. Eureka, no day. Eureka, not for me. Anybody know what Jordan's plan is? Is she just going to push through to Heaven's Ward with the story? Is she going to try the extremes or anything? She wants to do coils. She did older yesterday. I assume she wants to do coils. Yeah, yeah but uh, it'll be... I wonder if she'll do it... Um... But Jesse did coils unrestricted. Yeah, I'm not a grinder by any means. My days of grinding are long gone. We did most of it min item level no echo, but we stopped at a certain point because it was just getting crazy. <laughs> it was getting so obnoxious. It's not even if I didn't have kids, I would not be a grinder anymore. I don't I don't enjoy grinding anymore. I also don't have that kind of time anymore to just I mean, I could do it on stream, but I think uh, it wouldn't suit my stream style. It's just to grind and grind and grind. Oh, I'm late. Uh, there we go. It was to insane your dive bombs. Yeah, figuring that out without using the cheese strat was uh, hellacious. Forgive me, but I couldn't stay away. <laughs> hmm. 
It seems my sister shall be true. Yeah, if you like grinding, then more power to you. Grinding a game you enjoy is no different than playing multiple games you enjoy. Oh, they're actually tanked in a good position. No way. Cleave! Oh, they're spread apart now. Never mind. <laughs> Never mind. Is there a reason we always kill this one first? I have never seen any group go for Nymea first. The sands of time are mine to command. Yeah, but on week one, we did it this way as well. Like, before people knew about the time magic. People, have, from what I can tell, we did this week, like, day one, and everybody just did this. My team completely untouched. Legends. Surrender to my power. I guess so. But again, even day one before we knew about the look away and move thing. I don't only ever see it done this way. Is this MSQ spoilers? No. No, it's not. This is unrelated to the MSQ. You are Gucci. Can Nymea has like 45% HP left, lol. Well. Meza, yes. Dead. Uh, we had a Eureka pretty, ac Eureka pretty active because we had a lot of uh, cool viewers who came along, but I just didn't find it fun. The only thing of expedient made you get hurled faster. <laughs> oh, Magato! Wah, wah, wah. This too. Is wah, wah, wah. Upon the most exalted of battles, you shall stand. Yeah, man, the villain extremely. That'd be good. Uh, once you get going, you it becomes much less of a grind. I'm not sure about running from boss to boss. You pop. Yeah. Nah. Never say never, but close to never.
Yo, my attack just got shredded. Uh, one second. I think the only thing that makes me sad about Eureka is I believe there's a raid I'm missing. This is interesting what we're doing here. That's the only thing that tempts me to do Eureka is that I'm missing a raid. Jesus Christ, this is getting a little obnoxious. Holy crap. That was, Summon that was weird. That was very weird. On. You'll be able to take you a month to get there. <clears throat> get where? To the end of Eureka. They start looking at a version of the Bosnia raid you've not done. I thought we did everything in Bosnia. Oh, Savage raid. Oh, okay. Well, we'll get there when the time's appropriate. I, the Fury, shall test your strength of spirit. I want to get back to Savage. That'll be our first goal after XCOM, and then it's a rat jam. Like, legitimate rat jam. Yeah, I asked Savage. I want to get that second boss down in Savage Coils. And then ask Savage after that. For glory, you must be prepared to render your all. Yeah, that mechanic is nice. You only have to move once for it. It looks really overbearing, but you only move once. Two hundred K channel points at the ready. I've been saving them for this one moment. You must do better than that against me. Now is my moment to shine. I think this raid is wonderfully designed. Everything seems pretty clear and obvious for the most part. You can pick it up after the first couple of pulls. Any mistakes that you don't understand aren't too punishing as long as you know the rest. The only time I ever get stuck in FF is the mechanic is a little awkward to see. But I felt that about the weights as well. That weighted... Uh, the raid where you had to balance the weights. And ultimately, it's not that bad once you start getting comfortable with the fight. I think this one could feel a little tricky because it's really fast. I see a lot of people get caught out by this. I can't grip you. <laughs> I can't grip you. I see a lot of people get caught out with that one. It's all voice acting. Yeah, I wonder when WoW will get voice acting. It's got to be the next step for World of Warcraft is to put that in. It's like a standard now for so many RPGs. God, I can't wait for Baldur's Gate 3. Oh, 
We're going to get our ass kicked. In ice unyielding. Now rest. Boulder. Divinity. Divinity 2 is my uh, uh, second favorite RPG of all time. I haven't played Divinity 1, actually. But Original Sin 2 is incredible. Oh, would that our clash could continue forever. What, Clark? Did you see the narration in Baldur's Gate 3? I haven't seen anything on Baldur's Gate 3. I knew we were going to play it. I just haven't gotten near it. I was actually looking at a keybind in there. I swapped a keybind the other day. That was it. Gee. Too many people were bitching about... Um... I don't know where we're going. I didn't see that. Not here. Uh, I was moaning that I didn't have room in two on my bars. That's what I was trying to say. People are probably going to have ruined two on my bars, so I added it. But now it's in a place where I'm not necessarily not press it. I've got to retrain my fingies. Oh, you're too far away. Well, your next test awaits. All right, it's going to look a little weird in a few minutes. I need to do a voiceover and you can't listen to it because I'm under embargo. <laughs> so I'm just going to stand there very animated. Muted. <laughs> but I hope you're muted for Chris. I'll be impressed if you can lip read. I'll be impressed. Uh, I could do face cam as well, Chris. I'm in a... Oh, no, I've got the same shirt on that. I've put on for it. Uh... I'll have to do the audio separate, though. You'll have to pair up the face to the audio. This isn't a big deal. I could use the clacker. I don't want to turn the stream off for five minutes while I do it. Like that. There you go, see? Ruin two, baby. Uh, no, I need the camera on. Oh, dear. That won't work. Not, I cannot handle. Yeah, now we're ruined touring. Yay. Changed our whole world. I was so lazy. If I had to move, I was just pressing AOE. <laughs> it's still just 10,000. Like, ruined two does 8k, but if you're close and you pop the uh, AOE spell, that does more. You know? Yeah, look. AoE does 6k, 8k, 12k. This does 8k, 7.5. 
Yeah, it crits, but on average, I think it does more damage, honestly. Well, I don't know if this different is there different modifiers in the AoE. It just seems to have a higher crit chance. It all depends on what debuffs are on the target as well, you know? Like, that was 10k. Ten point three, six point five, six two. I think Laura's statistics is ruined two should be better, but it's pretty close. Yeah, I'll some more on two targets for sure. I think my point was it's, it wasn't as huge a deal as some of the messages I received made it out to me. <laughs> right, it's Oren's ghost trying to be like Oren. Uh, sure, Chris. Oh, Chris, one thing I thought to double check on the embargo. Uh, check which... Uh, this might be a job for nups. Which country's afternoon is it? Because <laughs> I fucked that up before. <laughs> I released it early because it's, it's earlier in the UK than it is in Europe. And they tell us the European time. I was like, oops. <laughs> Sorry. We're pretty sure. Always worth a double check, in my opinion. Lighting. They see me rolling. You're always in my heart. UK, not Europe. Big Sag. with my Ruin 2 gaming. Legend. Unstoppable, actually. Magato! Oh, GG. I think that's it. Oh, who do we commend here? Well, not the children, obviously. We don't do that. This is my chance. The wine up baloney is mine. We're done with the triple triad cards. Perfect. Pass that. Need that. 83 and 97. Hello. <laughs> oh, we'll have a need on the hot pants. Nice. Oh, yeah. Uh, is 
yeah, I have the Agula coin. And now I've got the Euphrosine coin. And that is it. That is all our gear for our Savage. Uh, where the fuck am I? I'm in the wrong place. All right, so we're replacing just one of the rings. Uh, shit, do I need to buy the ring? I ain't gonna do. Didn't I buy the ring already? Hold on. Uh, I think I bought it already. Sure I did. I could be wrong. <laughs> well, I wouldn't have banked it. So it could only be in here. Either way, um, that one. And we need Moonshine Shine. Back again. Dunzo, Bunzo, baby. These both the same ring. Yeah. Six twenty nine. Six twenty nine is our statement. Okay. I have not done my material yet. I was waiting to get this. <laughs> Six thirty, not 630. Match. <laughs> well, I'll get gear from um, our Savage, right? It's not like they do uh, a whole savage thing without giving you any gear from uh, to reward you, right? That would never happen. That wouldn't make any sense. All right, we need to go material. <laughs> Surely, yeah. Surely there will be a benefit to it. I'm really curious what the next very variation on it is. Uh, what do we need? It's like direct hit in there. It's like some crit in there, I think. Have we got a crit gem here? They can. Nice. You can take one crit gem. Uh...
All right, your cat's on crits. And two hit jokes. Not you. I think we are going to check the deep dungeon. I need to do this recording real quick. Uh, Bex, do you check the check that interview if you're here? As uh, we got a confirmed time. Okay, we are materialed up. Four p.m. Okay, cool. thanks, Chris. All right, time to look like a buffoon. I uh, don't want face cam. Okay. you guys look cool for like two minutes that would be awesome
All right, all right, all right. Done and done. Yay. Good job, everybody, for making everything look great. Appreciate it. Where's my camera? Hello. Hello. Welcome back. <laughs> Welcome back. Why is it getting slowly more naked? There's always an increased level of nudity that's occurring. It happens. Here's the way it is. Uh, I've lost my web window. Hello. There we go. Awesome. Right, let's make some lunch and let's check out this deeper dungeon, shall we? It sounds really fun. So let's do that. Let's make some quick eggers while we've got everybody here. And we'll rock and roll. Egg time. Egg Mouth sight.
gotta tell you, man. I gotta tell you guys, I cannot fucking wait to stop dieting. I will be so happy when the diet shit is done. And I can relax a little bit. You know how much I miss cheese? I miss cheese so much. Cheese is like the forever food. Hmm. I can't wait. I know it's the rat's favorite meal, but fuck that. I miss cheese so much. How long have I been dying now? I don't know, four or five months. Long time. I put salt and pepper in there, but... I had a lot of eggs. <laughs> the one thing I will not remove after I, like, relax a bit on the diet... I'm not obviously not going to pile the weight back on. I probably will, but... The only thing I'm not letting go of, because it's been surprisingly just amazing, is oats with some protein powder in the morning. It's so good. It's actually crazy how freaking good that is. Is Pale Beyond on the list? Yeah, I was talking to Belle yesterday, actually. <laughs> I was bitching at him for not um, giving us a key, making us buy it. <laughs> Protein porridge is the shit. It's amazing. I've turned so many people onto protein porridge. Because everyone assumes it's awful. It's fucking so good. It's basically a dessert. I'm having banana right now. So I have like... A, it's like having banana pudding every morning. Except it's really good for you. The only problem I have with it is it does not give you enough calories. So by about now, I'm actually starving. And I'm tired. I'm so hungry. How do I make mine? Oats in a bowl. Oat milk on top. Microwave that shit up. Two and a half minutes. Throw the powder in afterwards and mix it all together. Simple as that. Not you. It's gorgeous. It's so nice. It's so good. Yeah, it's not dry at all. I'm telling you, you should try it. Really good for your health. And it's super nice. Uh, I don't tend to wait out. You can cook it in a pan if you want. No problem. Microwave is totally fine. Well, I've got the bowl size. And I know when it comes out to consistency, I like it. It could do with something more in there to give it a bit more energy. That's all. I find myself yawning at like 11 p.m. or something. 11 a.m. I'm telling you, protein oats is the fucking way to go. Uh... I just got the powder from Amazon. And I've read a lot of reviews elsewhere, and it's totally good. Uh, what's it called? Some honey? Um, maybe. I, I don't know. I, I mean, I should be clear. I don't need to upgrade the oats. That's fine. It's, again, it's just some calories. Some calories. Uh, so I use uh, this stuff. PBN whey protein banana flavor is what I'm using now. I think the coconut is nicer, but I know you guys don't like coconut. I've not tried strawberry yet. I've had vanilla, which is awesome. The coconut, which is awesome. The banana is my least favorite. But it's still good. I'll never try chocolate or chocolate hazelnut. Might try peanut butter. I don't want cookies or cream either. So I'll probably try strawberry next. 
You want a video of me making porridge? <laughs> that's like less, that's less, less interesting than Zach's steak video. Like snake oil? Something snake oil about protein powder. I do not like chocolate now. But this. It's 22 quid. This has lasted me for ages. Because I don't have protein shakes or anything. I just use this for my breakfast. This has lasted me months. It's totally fine. Well good. <laughs> I'm picking on you five years. You saw a comment of mine. <laughs> no, I don't like chocolate. Uh, what, the deep dungeon? I'll go into it blind, obviously. That's always the strap. Oh, I'm looking forward to this interview today. Let me just check the notes. There's been quite a few conversations there. Uh... Mm -mm -mm. Oh, good. Excellent. Oh, that looks fantastic. Super. All right. That's going to be a really interesting interview this afternoon. Can't wait. <clears throat> yeah, I'm interviewing uh, the people behind Week Horrors. With all the add-on talk recently, uh, we reached out to them and they were super good with getting back to us and talking to us. I'm, I'm really curious as to what they think about a lot of the stuff they get against Week Horrors. Yeah, they were so good. I think so too. I think it's going to be super interesting for the people behind this, especially with all the uh, shit they get. Right, eggs are consumed. Put the plate away. I've got a sad story to tell you. <laughs> I've got a sad story to tell you guys. When I woke up this morning, I was chilling in my bed, and Ben usually hears me wake up and runs upstairs and, like, jumps on the bed and lies on me because he wants to be fidgeted with. He's done that since he was a puppy. I wake up, he hears, like, either the alarm or he hears me stirring. He runs up the stairs. And he dives on the bed and he lies on my chest. And it's the best wake up in the world, right? It's the happiest wake up in the morning. But it didn't happen this morning. It didn't happen. And I was like, where's Ben? This is weird. Because I was up and I started like doing noises like. Argh! 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 And he didn't come. There was no Ben. There's no Ben. So I was like, that's fucking annoying. So I reached over to my right to grab my phone, see what's happened during the night, see if there's anything I need to check. Ben has fallen off the bed in the night. He must have snuck up, got on our bed, because he's not allowed on, fallen down the side, and there's no way out and no room for him to jump up, because there's only a tiny gap between the wall and my bed. And he was just asleep in the gap down there. And he's looking up at me like I've been here, like I've been here for hours. I've literally been here for hours. <laughs> it's like, how the fuck did you get down there? Like, what the fuck? <laughs> so I had to, like, pick him up and put him on top of me. And then he was so happy. He just looked at me like, dude, don't ask. I fucked up. I ended up down on the floor. It was a pain in the ass. But here I am. <laughs> uh, 
Oh, a loser. Well, thank you to the crawlers for your relic demonstration. Abow. Abow. Poor Ben Puppy. Poor Ben Dog. Uh, nice save. Yeah, he's so heavy as well. It was first thing in the morning. I was like, fuck's sake. Gotta lift this dog out of this tiny spot. Uh, where's the uh, deep deep dungeon then? Where are we going? Charlian? I don't remember seeing a big tower or anything there. So that's what's going to be interesting. Let's do... Uh, does it have a visual field? Mordona. Oh, we're in Mordona. Cheers, dudes. Hmm. <clears throat> has been a while. Uh, where does it fall under? It's like an other or something, isn't it? Go. Uh, I've been letting Atlas roam a bit free. He's been really good. He's 11 months old. He's down there eating stones from somewhere. Eating two Switch game cases. A letter. Yeah, well. Delve into myth. Is this the one? Uh, what should we go as? Let's go as uh, Black Mage, eh? Let's kick it old school. 580, we're a bit on the buffy side, but still. Not here for XP, I want to see what it's like. Cole Rab... Rab... How do I say that? Rabantar is eyeing you like a bird who has found its prey. Hey, Taiki, how's it going, dude? We're just checking the deepest dungeon that's just come out. How fair you, brave adventurer. Or should I call you the hero of the Scions? An intrepid researcher for Noah, perhaps? Which appellation do you prefer, floor inspector? Uh, <laughs> floor. Name's floor. Now, now, there's no need for alarm. I am but a humble member of the Sons of St. Koinuk. Although plainly not a son, my name is Ko Run. <laughs> Now, strictly speaking, it would be more accurate to say the co is the name of the vessel I inhabit. To explain matters simply, I am borrowing her for a spell. You possessed? My true name is Noah. Yes, that Noah. Famed Archmagus of the Allegan Empire and saviour of the squirrels and hamsters during the Great Flood. Surprised you, did I? I assure you I speak the truth. Before you stands the very person after whom you have named your esteemed research group. Or her essence, rather. Noah saved two of every animal. That includes the fucking hamsters. And the guinea pigs. You have braved Circus Tower, yes? Twas there that co chanced upon the orb which harboured me. Awakened into an entirely new age, I was eager to abscond from my stuffy home and stretch my legs, so to speak. So Ko and I came to an agreement. She would lend me her body from time to time, and in return would receive the honor of being my vessel. All right. That's a bit one-sided, isn't it? <laughs> a little bit one-sided. Hello? Oh, Emma's here. She's back. Rat jam. Fear not. This is nothing so base as void scent possession. I can leave this body whensoever I please. But I did not seek you out to discuss the finer points of magic. Now there is something much more important we must discuss. Rambros can scarcely stop talking about your adventures with the Scions of the Seventh Dawn. I have heard the stories countless times. How in a strange turn of fate... Grahatia was awoken from his slumber in the Crystal Tower far earlier than he should have been. How the Asian Fan Daniel was unduly killed off before he was appropriately finished in his story. Who set our star on a course towards the final days was in fact Amon all along. Events of earth-shaking import, events in which you invariably played a pivotal role. Your pedigree reminds me that there is none better suited to receive my request. Firstly, however, I would ask that you summon Grahatia to the Eight Sentinels. 
I suspect he will answer the call of a comrade in arms much more readily than an anonymous researcher calling themselves an Archmagus. Graha's getting about these days, isn't he? Oh, look at that. Yeah, I'll just call Graha to you. Yeah, no problem. Yes, this is he. Uh, lady here is possessed by an old man. Oh, what a present surprise. I can't remember the last time you called me. Oh, my. Oh, oh that? <laughs> it was nothing. Nothing at all. I'm much more interested in you, my friend. Are you well? You aren't in some sort of trouble, are you? That's quite the yarn. You say the Archimagus Noah, inhabiting the body of a young researcher, has asked you to take to ask me to make haste to the eight sentinels. Have I got it right? Uh uh-huh. Hmm. Absolutely fascinating. I'll be there at once, as soon as I conclude my current business. That is I promise to be quick. Tell Noah or is it Co. that I am eager to make her acquaintance. Until then, Floor. Okay. Well, I certainly did not mean to rush the poor lad. I hope his haste does not come at the expense of caution. Even so, hearing the loyalty you inspire in others makes me feel secure in my choice to place this task in your hands. Now then. It would be improper for us to be late for our appointment after pulling Grahatia away from his work. Feel free to go on ahead. I shall not be far behind. <clears throat> You're not wrong, Taiki. We tend to accept the most absurd situations rather lightly these days. Hi, I am possessed by Noah. Um, I've agreed to share this uh, body. Myla Banana, plate check. Confirmed poor. Let's watch what poor people do. Never-endingly surrounded by paws. Smells like sex in here. <clears throat> this is AR. You went to the moon. There are bunnies. Yeah, I've seen some shit. Not even phased. No, I have a hippo. Smart ass. I have the mounts I want to have. Let's put it that way. Let's understand where I'm coming from. I have exactly. But I want to have. And I'm fine with that. I don't want a jelly. I think the tank is old hat now. I'm not impressed by tanks anymore. Anybody who's got a tank kind of looks like a bit of a sweat to me. You know what I mean? They don't strike me as cool dudes. That's what I'm just saying genuinely. That's how I feel about it. Like, Can you... How do I get where I'm going? I have to go do, through your little tunnel. Okay. Do I have to go through the crystal gate? Copy mobile? Oh, I'm serious. The tank is just not impressive. Oh, God, it's not a flying area. Okay. <clears throat> God, it's been a while since we've been here. Oh, Jesus. This is a popular place to be. I'm going to walk into traps, aren't I? Yeah. <laughs> I got distracted. <laughs> I don't want a Ferrari. That's a genuine true. I do not need a supercar. That is a true. I would like a car that works. In fact, I should check up on what's happening with my car. He's not texting me. 
I'll give it another day. I'm not trying to rush him. I came as quickly as I could. I haven't kept you waiting, have I? Good, good. When you told me that Noah herself was a party in all this, I knew this was an opportunity I would loathe to miss. And placed against the rebirth of both Zandi and Amon, the survival of Noah's essence seems almost quaint. Still, I can't help but be excited to meet her and hear what this request of hers entails. If I were to hazard a guess, it has something to do with the Crystal Tower. Your instincts are correct. Now, let me see those eyes. A deep crimson in the likes of which I have not seen in many an age. Oh, this? Magics are required on the road ahead. While adept enough as a researcher, I'm afraid Ko's aptitude in the ethereal arts is non-existent. It was necessary to acquire a new body. Uh, can you please slow down? What the fuck? <clears throat> This is the adventuring outfit we're going with, eh? <clears throat> it looks like it makes noise when you walk. You captured the spirit of the lag. I thank you. I did try. Every Magus knows that function must be married with looks. Those that fail to learn that lesson seldom last long. True! If your glam's not on point, why are you even bothering, you fucking loser? It's important. You'll do less DPS. However, I do wish I could have added a touch more flair. Amon would have clucked his tongue in disapproval at the sight of me. Alas, I had to appease Ko's preferences as well. She insisted that the first few outfits I selected were much too gaudy, and eventually we landed on this compromise. Rat peak. Beauty truly is in the eye of the beholder, I suppose. Yes, yes, truly fascinating. Most illustrious Noah. I could listen for days. I could stare at you for days. Yet yeah, there is the question of why I was summoned here. And Floor, for that matter. Why have you gone to such lengths to seek us out? Yes, quite right. To understand what we're he understand where we are heading, I must first tell you what came before. In the twilight of the third astral era, with the Allegan Empire at the height of its glory, a laboratory was constructed beneath the Crystal Tower. There, the Empire's most sensitive research was conducted. The means of achieving eternal life and resurrection. Clone technology. Control mechanisms for the icons and the eventual completion of the Dalamud prototype. We should burn it then, right? As a thought, we should probably blow it up. Those were but few of the many projects pursued deep under the earth. All in absolute secrecy, with the full blessings and guidance of the royal family. It was dubbed Eureka Orthos by the Emperor himself. A fitting name for a place which would become a nexus of creation. Eureka. You can't mean what I think you mean. Uh-huh. I know. I believe you and Kryal are well familiar with the Forbidden Land. I am. <laughs> Ask me about Eureka. This guy. <laughs> when the island appeared suddenly in the waters of the Far East, it was dubbed Eureka after the Allegan legend. The stories say that in the center of a vast labyrinth slumbers a weapon of incomprehensible power. Oh, so the passage of time has thus erased our deeds entirely. You see, I've only played up to Stormblood, and I've yet to reach Eureka. But the legend has a hint of truth in it. The development of specialized weapons was the main subject of research within Eureka Orthos. It comes as no surprise that rumors of what transpired there would eventually grow into the tales of which you speak. 
However, Eureka Orthos is no myth. It exists as surely as you or I, and it was every bit as magnificent a feat as Circus Tower. I have reason to believe it survived the chaos and is less pixelated than the tower looks now. I know where it is, and I know how we can gain entrance. Why? Why would we want to do this? Are you a bad guy, Noah? You fuck. Are you a fuck? You dressed up all cutesy, right? We can see you've been fucking eating your lettuce for a year. Are you a bad guy? <clears throat> My peerless knowledge of teleportation magic shall take us to the gates. And the royal blood throwing through Gahatia's veins shall open them. Why? I'd very much like to once again set foot within those halls, where I refined and perfected the means of transferring my essence to and from various objects. You want a new Chad body, like Xenos. Is that what this is? Hmm? Which brings me to my request. I would have you delve into the deepest regions of Eureka Orthos and drag its secrets kicking and screaming into today. With the flow of time within the Crystal Tower restored, the laboratory should be fully active. Its unfinished experiments and long dormant security measures wandering aimlessly in search of intruders. The first order of the day shall be to put these obstacles to rest and advance to the 30th floor of the facility. Why? I'll accompany you. If this place is as dangerous as it sounds, then we probably shouldn't bother with it, considering no one can get in anyway. Right? I suggest we pretend we didn't have this conversation and never bother with this place, considering it contains all these monsters that the Allegans have been working on. I am afraid I cannot permit that. Your role in this ends once the gates to Eureka Orthos have opened. I understand your disappointment. The same blood that makes you useful as a key makes you a hindrance to fulfilling this mission. It ties you too strongly to the Empire. Why would that be a problem? What? His elegant bloodline makes him not... What? This is clearly bad. This is so obviously bad. Right? Unlike the Crystal Tower, there is no need for Eureka Orthos to inspire hope. Alag is gone. Its inheritors long dead. I wish for the Empire's deeds, no matter how unsavory, to be beholden with eyes unclouded by a legacy. Why? I'll take your word for it. We'll just blow it up. That they might be judged for what they were. No one cares. <clears throat> so, Floor. I know I've been long in the asking, but will you accept this task? Naturally, I shall offer all the help I can muster, and you are free to take any spoils you may find. There is much that could be of use to one such as you. She's not that hot. She's like... If I, we were on a first date with her, I'm probably going to take her to Spud you like. Chest. I want to know what she orders with a jacket potato. Tells me a lot about a person. What you order on your jacket potato is an important, but is an important piece of information that I need to know about somebody before a date can proceed forward. Honestly, Subway's also a risk. Is she just getting a ham cheese sandwich at Subway? Because I mean, I don't think I could be with a ham and cheese girl. You know what I'm saying? You can't be she doing that. She orders rat jam on her jacket potato. Fuck off. <laughs> I might a picky eater. Emma is the complete opposite of a picky eater. Are you joking? Emma will eat anything. Emma is absolutely not a picky eater. She just has standards in her words. She doesn't like cheap chicken. What's a jacket potato? A baked potato. Baked potato. What if she orders tuna? On a date. It's a risky move. It's got a boldness to it. 
I knew you'd find the scent of adventure irresistible. But I thank you nonetheless. Drink your fill of ancient secrets and buried sin. I'm talking about real life. There's no real life cat girls. I'm sorry. All right. You have to take the cat portion out of the equation because you guys are just saying she's hot. Right? Like, like literally because she's attractive, you would do anything she says, even if it was involving... <laughs> I'm sorry to upset you. I really am. Sorry to upset you. But <laughs> if she's... Oh, she's a beautiful woman. Ergo, I would lick the fucking soil beneath her feet to make sure she doesn't get her shoes dirty. It's not the approach you want to take. Don't fall for it, lads. Don't fall for it. Be strong. Be strong. Allow us to borrow the key that Unai and Doga entrusted to you so long ago. My socks are not dirty. Shut up. I do not have dirty socks. I can't believe Graha's okay with this. We've really got no hesitance about what we're doing here. Ah, the connection seems to be stable. Very good. Promise me you'll come back in one piece, Floor. Return in any other shape and not even another calamity will convince me to open these gates. Must you fuss over her like a child? She to whom Allegan ruins are almost commonplace? Who bested even Ammon in combat? Compared to such trials, this will be but a footnote in a long list of heroics. Once Flo returns from her expedition, you are more than welcome to return here and listen to the report. Oh, thanks. You see the way she got what she wanted? Immediately turned into a bitch. Like, zero fucking pause. Yeah, Braxus is slacking on his room. Like, got exactly what she wanted. Immediately fucking changed the dial. Boo! <clears throat> Rest assured you shall remain fully apprised of any world-threatening developments. That's a small reassurance. But I suppose it must suffice. Should you find yourself at an impasse, do remember that I'm only a call away, won't you? You guys say she's hot because she's wearing hot pants. That's it. That's it. You can see thigh skin. Hot. <laughs> Done. That's it. Tick the box. That's literally it. There's nothing else. And shoulders. God. You need, you need some Victorian era women around you. That's what you need. <laughs> now then. Let us make ready. The secrets of Yur and Orkoth, Orthos lie in wait. All right, I have no idea why we're doing this. She wants to look inside, but apparently that involves clearing 30 floors of the place. Graha's not allowed inside. He's literally here to like a UBRS key carrier from Vanilla WoW. <clears throat> here we are. Rambo's is furnished with all the manpower requested. Capable researchers of the Sons of St. Koinuk stand ready to organize your expeditions and appraise any rarities you may find. As for my part, I advise to offset the magical limitations of this vessel with my boundless knowledge. Okay. <clears throat> Procuring two tools that should be of great use to you. First, armor. See, the days before the fourth umbral calamity, the researchers of Eureka Orthos fortified it with wards that enervate the faculties of any intruders. Even the most masterful weapons are rendered useless if they cannot be swung. To overcome this, I have imbued a set of armor with opposing wards which nullify the effect. Thus allow you to fight with gusto. Second is a demiclone generator. As the name implies, it is capable of creating near clones in a matter of moments. Such clones, while imperfect, were often used in experiments. If you come across tombstones containing data on such experiments, the generator can make sense. Oh, translator. Okay. Furthermore, <clears throat> while the ether of the clones dissipates as quickly as vapor in a hot beaker, 
An extra hand or two may prove useful in pulling you from a perilous situation. Take these tools in good health, and may they serve you well. Once you've steeled your nerves and sharpened your weapons, speak with Katoon to begin. Alright. I'm going solo first. <clears throat> Alright, Gov! Well met! I'm Katoon, and Mistress Noah has tasked me with overseeing all manner of support for your expeditions in Eureka. That lass over there is Valerie, and she'll appraise the worth of any trinkets or treasures you may find. Noah has also provided us with a synthesis node, and we're standing by to offer aid if we can. I take it the Archmage is to give you the two pieces of equipment she was proud of making. Excuse me, but for your own safety, I must ask you to show them to me before I allow you to step foot inside. Got him. Everything appears to be working order. Now you're ready to go. Our first goal is to reach the 30th floor of the facility, go for a floor, and show the realm that Alag's most deadly creations are no match for our heroes. Alright. <clears throat> Okay. You may enter the deep dungeon by speaking with Katoon again. You must be a disciple of war or magic of level 81 or above to participate, and your level will be just 81 or entering the first time. The videos will be held by Katoon. Okay. Usual stuff. All right. <clears throat> Let's have a look see. <clears throat> I don't care if we fail, it's fine. Ooh, I like them little crawly hand friends. The old wiggly hands. <laughs> the rat doesn't care if you fail. Oh, that's good. All right. Are we walking into a trap? Pile on a return. Two at once. Oh, I don't get Xenoglossy? F. Oh, I don't got Despair either. Feels bad, man. Yeah, I love Lightsy 1. Good luck. Unlucky. Oh, we do have to spare. Nice. Don't walk into any traps. Increase the chance that enemies on the current floor will drop treasure. Okay. <clears throat> What's this? That's the exit, isn't it? Okay. And there we go. We walked into a trap. Let's start. Unable to use weapon skills. A start by threatening casts. Awesome. Any Asunas? <clears throat> Ooh. This has health. This has a lot of health. Oh, I haven't got double fucking shark cast. Lame. Can I dodge? Hit. 
hidden treasure. You do not sense the call of the accursed holiness. There isn't one. Okay. Uh, <clears throat> am I not done? Can I not leave now? I don't have to clear every enemy, do I? All right, we gotta kill more. Fair enough. Oh, don't lost me. Oh, you fuck. Go back. This way. It's fine, we're doing fine. Are we done? No? Is there a tracker for how many enemies I need to do? The red key. Done? Yeah, okay, it's glowing now. Alright, we we go. Alright. Uh 5% <clears throat> damage reduction. Wait, are these fucking respawning? Oh, you sack of tits. Get out of here. All right, let me out. Level two, baby. Are they able to use normal items or certain dungeon-specific items? Okay. Can I get some armor and weapon upgrades? Is that a thing? If possible. Can you, can you sort me out? Alright, the exit is in here. Okay, so I don't really want to kill too many things in here. I got to respawn on me. Big damn, big damn crushing DPS, actually. Put my shield up. Right, can I avoid that imp? Fingers crossed. But I should kill that one. Interruptible, don't have an interrupt. Never mind. Oh, I got time for this to spare? Nope. Oof! Give it the old transpose. This is a big boy. Be nice to me, big boy. I've got no ley lines, alright? Be nice. It's giving me the look. Well, how quickly you leveling these ones? All 
Oh, I can leave now. I have to kill this one though. Before it gives me the hand. dead from this despair. No upgrades. All right. No trap this floor, though. Nice. Don't pull, don't pull, don't pull. Backwards or forwards? Okay. Let's go backwards first. Sounds like AoE. It was. Wow, this thing takes like no damage. Can you take damage, please? Okay, that's good. Is there anything even in this room? Am I just wasting my entire time here? Probably. Not that we don't appreciate the level up. We'll save ley lines for the next enemies. Nothing. Uh, what about this? Okay. I would have thought a secret chest was in there or something. We did. We wasted an intuition. It's fine. It's fine. We'll live. I'm not fighting another one of them if I don't have to. Lightning tick? No? Okay. Have I seen the exit point yet? No. Now we've got multiple doorways. Okay. Are you respawning as I'm killing? That's kind of mean, don't you think? I think that's a bit brutal. You're literally respawning while I'm killing. Pylon begins to glow. Yeah, but where is it? Oh, that's a silver one. That's an upgrade. We need that. Fuck, man. The RNG, man. The RNG is killer.
I think we can get away with not killing the big claw hand. Good. Terry, sleep on your bar. You will need it. Y'all mock me for having sleep on my bars. Can I... Speaking of which... Okay, that didn't work. All right. Oh, God. Help! Our sleep does not work on them, and it turned me into a little bird. Oh, come on, man! You can... I'm bad, bad shape here. Can save it. It's fine. You're a bird. You can finally eat all the rats you like worry free. Don't bully me. Can I dodge this thing? Ah! I've killed so many extra enemies on this floor. I need a bit of HP. That's enough. I do not want to pull that grenade. Fuck the grenade. Right, there's the exit. Good morning, you beautiful bastard. Time sure flies by. <laughs> good morning, good morning. I'm just clearing the whole place. Gotta say, I'm kind of enjoying playing uh, Black Mage, though. Hi Mike, I'm not the rat, I'm possessed by What's an ancient that? rat, please make your friend open the rat tower, we what need is that? to reveal the secrets of rat jam. What's that thing? Is that the secret treasure that I uncovered? Alright, we have to get it then. Is that another silver chest as well? Kind of pop champ. Is that all it is? Is that? There's no way they would put a trap on top of the chest, right? That's really mean. The 
Discover a piece of the accursed horde. Deadly magics have been cast upon the chest to prevent theft. How does that help me? Move! Fuck's sake. Oh. Stressing me out. Haste granted. Nice. This is a fucking jam. Let it ride, baby. Blaster damage. Blaster. People don't even know. Well, I've got plenty of items. Oh, this is a new guy. Orthos Bazago. So he's got a strong melee. Silver chest. Spawning, the respawn rate in here is fucking wacky. Okay, I did not see the Casper. What's with the respawn rate? All right, we go again. You gotta go really fast. Some of these spawns are really nasty. Like really nasty. Oh, I don't keep my armor upgrades? That's kind of a bummer. I want to get the first 10 floors done. That's what I want. So I assume like the other one, it's going to... Make us clear most of the first floor. Let's not get greedy. Let's 
Skip 10 hours? We're not going that slow. We're just doing the first 10. What do you mean? This isn't that painful. Commit. God, it's already respawned the succubus behind me. These are separate spawns as well. Is that a golden one? Fuck that. There's a treasure chest in the corner. Nice. I know my man Yoshi P would have done all the testing in the world to make sure Black Mage was viable. All good. Where's the exit? Over there. Yoshi P played the fuck out of this. The Black Mage is everywhere. Too slow. Despair too slow. Can I skip? No, I've got to go through them. We have to go through. Saved it. Nice. Well, at least I get the extra treasure. Right, they're respawning down there now. Let's move. Let's move. Well, we got an upgrade floor one. That's pretty dope. I'll take that as a nice start. The gloom spreads. Uh, okay. I don't know what that means. The gathering glue appears to invigorate the floor's denizens. All right, buff the enemies. Okay. Oh, fuck me. Damage. They got a damage down and a damage increase. Okay. At least they don't chain. I guess the trick here is going to be to avoid traps. If we go trapless, we should be fine. What the fuck? They're just enemies just walking on by now.
Keep it up. Big DPS. We're pumping. We're pumping. I feel like we're going to have the key cleared before we even get into this room. This is all just for a trash and coffee. Awesome. Awesome. The hell? Oh, landmine? Fuck me. That's kind of dog shit. Nope. Skippers. I think I just get off this floor. I fuck this floor. I think I could skip the guy on the left. Pretty sure I can. Oh no, he patrols. Speaking of which. Easy. Easy. Oh, that was hidden traps. Shouldn't have pressed that. Uh, okay. Silver box at the end. Just go straight there. good right they haven't got sprint and stuff this time which is good depends on whether we'll kill enough enemies I'd rather do that in the last room, though, and find out for sure. We got bombs coming up. No, nope. not enough time. Get this one, and then, uh... To be fair, it looks like we're nearly done. I'm just going to go to the last room. I feel like this is the right play.
Use the ley lines now. Pump, pump, pump. Will there be a trap on this again? Another one just spawned? Dude, you've got to give me a fucking break, bro. These respawns have absolutely no chill. Upgrade. No trap. Up we go. I don't think we're doing too bad right now. Rat jam. Let's turn down the enemies on the next floor. Knockback disabled. Nails use knockback or draw in effects. <laughs> oh no. Please stop. Read. Hi Mike, it's the rat. Thought you might enjoy a change of music. Enjoy being blown up rat jam. I'm not gonna get blown up, man. Right, this is the big melee dude. Put mana ward up, first of all. Doing just fine. What I would like is some of my spells back. That would be that would be dope. I get why I haven't got them. All fine game. I'm not raging at you. How bad is this damage down? Okay, I can still kill things. This thing just does a bit of melee and big burst, so it's not a big deal. Spawns everything into a chicken. Sprint enabled. I assume that's on the enemies. No items allowed. Great. 
Wonderful. Oh, I've got permanent sprint. That's kind of nice. Get bursted. I would like to know if there's silver chest on this floor, but I can't use my items. I don't think I have that one anyway. Well, we're done. Is that it there? Let's get me out. The exit point, isn't it? Mm. What's a boot? An Orthos boot. What the fuck is an Orthos boot? Ghost on your foot! <laughs> oh, I so wish that didn't make me laugh. Let's see what it does. It's got the power of line of sight. Fantastic. Terror touch. Have I lost this? Movement speed, HP recovery, healing are reduced. So it just spell cued me there or what? Just waiting for you to come back in line of sight. I don't want your wild horn, dude. Oh, they do. They just spell cue it until you get back in range. Kind of trolly, but sure. I guess we do not want to be in line of sight of that one. Oh, we're done here. Okay, we can leave. Thing that affects the next floor there okay <laughs> what are we on floor six all right we're steaming we're steaming ahead we have haste okay ah a silver chest uh 
Just a golden chest in there. Okay. Skippers. Kill this guy. What stone? Is that just a casted attack? Does it go slow me or something? I'm not getting stacking debuffs, am I? No. Okay, we got on turn away. Silver chest in here. All right, we got some boots to deal with. Terror touch is where he snots on me, isn't it? Pulling me away from ley lines. You can sleep boots. All right, noted. We can sleep booties. That's the... Okay, so I think we killed something in here. We're done. The fuck going up there? Okay, the shield prevents the knockback. Nice. I don't know what water sprites do. We'll find out. They seem to AFK. Is this thing about to fucking blow me up or something? Why is it not doing anything? The hell? Sleep plus like 10 seconds. Oh, fuck off, man. It's always a trap, always just in the worst possible spot. Chance the enemy's follow will drop treasure coffers. Alright, let's see if floor 8 we can get a load more upgrades. Floor 8 is our jam. I fought this thing before. No, this is new. Stay near a wall in case we have to hide.
Sure, dragon is just respawning already. No problem. Seems legit. That was risky. Oh, piss off, man. Maybe they'll give her health back. Not really. Hyper potions in your inventory. Uh, I just saw it. Unlock that extra spawn of the uh, eyeball man and the dragon behind me was a real pain in the ass. Not bad though. Not bad. Should have used witching. I have no idea what that is. Uh, oh, is there a button? It's, oh, that's the thing that spawns the clone things, right? Oh, the chicken one. Yeah, true. That comes with experience to remember that. That will come with experience. One hundo. Right, I have to go to the gym though. But uh, we'll do a group on this tomorrow and see how far we get. Yeah, we'll do a group thing. Let's go because I've got to do an interview in an hour and a half. That's all. And then I've got recording tonight. So we'll get it done then will be the strategy. That's what we'll go with. I've got to do conduct this interview and then we'll do some we'll do some group stuff in the morning and then back to XCOM. Yeah. Oh, is Jordan on? Is she around? Oh, nice. Where's she up to? Let's have a look. See. Did it? Did it? Where's she up to? I have not played since I logged out. So wherever I left off yesterday, which was, uh, we took on Odin. We took on Gorda. 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 We took on... She's a long uh, way to go, team. Educator. And we now have to... Now we have the M MSQ with uh, Sass Twins. So now we have to speak... To